What is up, everybody? How is it going? It's good to see you. Welcome to the show. Yeah, uh, we are going to be building, we're going to be having some fun today. I am really excited about uh, what's going on, what is going on. But I have here, we, guys, we're getting a sneak peek. We're getting a sneak peek, and I, I think I've already shown this to Org. I know BMOC's going to be a little bit mad. But uh, this right here, let's, let's just get this off the table. Let's just have some fun here because this I am very excited about. This is the brand new Falcon Northwest frag box right here. This bad boy right here. This is the Falcon Northwest frag box. Just to give you an idea, it is just to give you an idea of how big this is. This is a CPU case. This is a 13, oh, here we go. This inside of this box is a 13900K and an RTX 4090. Inside of this small case right here is an RTX 3090, uh, 13900K and a RTX 4090 uh, in this, this beautiful, very, very thick, um, uh, very, very thick and very, very well made uh, uh, PC from Falcon Northwest that we are currently in the middle of testing um, because uh, this thing is ridiculous. I just, I got it. It does, it does kind of look like a fog machine. It does have a handle on it for gripping it and using it and carrying it around. Um, it was really funny, uh, the guys over at Falcon Northwest saw that um, Jay's Two Cents had just gotten his nook. And he was like, hey, you know, look at this very small, so powerful PC. And he's like, wait till you get what Roby's got because this thing will do 8K, uh, you know, 4K gaming easily, uh, plus anything else, 13K Genshin Impact, how about that? Um, and then here, just check this out. I mean, like everything about this box is just so well done. So it's a 280 millimeter AIO. So I just want to show this off. Like, I, you know, I don't even care about the order of operations right now. We'll get to a build here in a minute, but it just pops off and then it just, so like even like the whole, like it's just, it's all milled. This is like a single piece of metal, guys, a single piece of metal. And then right here at the top, there it is right there, you can see there's that beautiful RTX 4080 from PNY, and then you've got a 280 millimeter AIO, and then look at that cable manager. And you are talking about, it's got an inch plus of, of routing in terms before the bend, the cable's completely secure. We've done some, we've already done some just checking in terms of the bend and stuff like that, which looks really, really good. And then here, just even on the side, look at this. I mean, like, it's just, it's just so incredible, so well done. So here is Riddick dropping 10 gifted subs. You are a rock star, my friend. Check this out on the side, guys. So this is, it's got a second set of fans just for pulling in air, right? That you just pull out from here. So it's got a second set of fans directly to blow in. When it's under load, it's less than 50 decibels in terms of the audio uh, right there. And then lastly, uh, you've got on the last side, you've got DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz, uh, a 13900K and a Z690 motherboard from Asus. Custom, obviously some custom BIOS settings and stuff like that uh, to keep temperatures. Uh, but I mean, still 5.5 gigahertz, Cinebench score of over 40,000. Uh, you know, it does, it does hit 100 in terms of temperature, 1,000 watt PSU. I mean, but this is incredibly impressive. Uh, for the size, it is, it's ridiculous guys. And it's no, this PC, uh, it's, it's bonkers. It's just so well done. And I'm really excited and very stoked to get to cover it um, and get to play with it. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been, it's been nice. It's been, uh, I always like to geek out on really cool hardware. And so I'm very, I'm geeked out, especially because the guys at, um, the guys at Falcon just engineer these things to the nine. You know what I mean? And like, you know, we've just been playing with it all day and just very, very impressed with the system overall. It's a 4090. It's uh, DJ Techno, this is an RTX 4090 from, uh, from PNY. This is a 4090 with an RTX uh, with a uh, 13900K system. And we will do it, uh, guys, don't worry, we will do this, uh, we'll do a pre-built in gaming on this just to kind of show it off a little bit more, but we're just, we're in the midst of playing with it right now. So very, very cool system and really excited about the whole thing. Yeah, you're, you're very welcome. I just like, you know, it's like when we get to see cool new things, why would I not want to share this with you guys? You guys are my, you guys are my friends. You're my best friends, right? You guys are gonna hang on. Street value of this one is just over 50, I think 50, confirm, let me confirm. Confirm street value. 
So uh, it's the uh, street value of this one is $5,700. It is not cheap. And you guys, by the way, nobody outside, you guys are the first people to ever see it. Nobody else has ever seen this. So you guys are actually the first to actually have ever seen this outside of the Falcon Northwest folks. So you guys are literally, this is a world exclusive right now. I'm just gonna put this back together. So you guys are world exclusive. How is that? Well, we gotta, are we literally on a hype train? Roby, I watched the video today and I'm feeling like Specwise at 40 should have had the similar dual cooler factory from the 3080 FE and the 30 when launched. With any, any theories on why I chose to bulk it up this time around, as if 40 Raptor Nook wasn't allegedly problematic, according to Jay's two cents. Okay, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll get to the 4080 here in a minute, because I, I, I feel like I got my diatribe for the whole thing. You aren't wrong. Red Pyramid Head, thank you for the five gifted subs. Super Doomsday also, thank you for the five gifted subs. Wow, level three. Jeez, you guys are on fire already. I'm, I'm over here trying to put a system back together. You're over here causing mad hype for this world, uh, world, world reveal from the team at Falcon Northwest. You guys are the world's first to get to see it. That's some hype right there, right? Wow, this thing, God. I just, uh, can I hug it? I just, I just want to hug it because it's just so cool. And look, it even says on the back, guys, check it out, even on the back, look at it, look at it. What does that say? It says Roby Tech. Look at that, isn't that nice? Okay, uh, I, I, I can, I'm done, I'm done, uh, I'm done. Guys, wow, five gifted subs, five gifted subs, five gifted subs. Super Doomsday, thank you very much for all of the support, you guys. Honestly, you're gonna make me blush. You're gonna make me blush. Okay, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk about this. Hydrate, think, oh, you know what, I forgot to get water. I will have to do that. Let's, uh, it's completely empty. By the way, guys, I, I've redone all of my, my dashboard stuff, so I can actually see everything. Um, but let's talk, let's talk about the RTX 4080. Let's, let's have this conversation because there's some, there's some interesting stuff. And I got a video coming out on this uh, probably tomorrow um, about this because I, I've been doing some thinking. And I, I got, I know, I don't, I don't care. My reviews don't really get watched all that much anyway. I don't, it's not what I do. The reviews are so we can go make other cool tech content if I'm just absolutely transparent. I love to build PCs. And uh, I love to build PCs and I love to hang out with you guys. And I love to have conversations. So let's talk about the RTX 4080 because there was a, there was an interesting. So I, I was talking to Gear Seekers and I was talking to Brian uh, Stoll BPS Customs, and I had gone through my share of reviews. And uh, the thing that I was most interested about with the RTX 4080 more than anything else was just the fact that the average wattage when gaming with this card and the temperature, which is to to allude to what people were talking about in terms of its size, is is this card oversized? It feels like absolutely. These things have massive coolers on them for who knows what reason. We are we haven't done the testing in terms of overclockability uh, on our cards comparatively to some of the others. We don't have a staff of 900 people like Linus does um, to go and and test this thing. But I know people are talking about the overpriced nature of this card, and so. I, I, I want to be super clear. I think that all of the GPUs are overpriced. Really, fundamentally, we think about this generation of cards, and that's both AMD and NVIDIA. I think both cards are overpriced because the thing that I had when I thought about and I did my review is in the world in which AMD has priced their cards at $899 and $999, of which AMD has confirmed that their, their spec stuff that they have shown as part of their Radeon presentation was before the 20% D, DX12 boost that we saw from NVIDIA. So there is some concern that the 7900 XDX will not be as powerful as this card is. The other thing too is that, so when we think about, when you look at the pricing across the spec, the card that is literally makes zero sense right now is the 3090 Ti. 3090 Ti makes no sense. Where I think performance wise, we're going to see the cards as you will see the 7900, the 7900 XTX, the 4080, and the 4090, at which they will be 899, 999, 1199, and 1599 respectively. In that world, if that's where things end up, and God, let me just be super clear. I hope that's not true. I really hope that under rasterization performance, that the Radeon actually ends up being better than this card. But I am getting 
inklings, and not just from myself, but from other people I've talked to who are well, sources that remain anonymous, that I don't think that is actually going to be the truth when it comes to this. I feel like the XTX is not going to beat this card either in ray, for sure not in ray tracing, it won't. And then I don't think it'll be it in rasterization. I think it will be slightly worse performing than the RTX 4080. So when you look at it from that perspective, when you put those in a cost stack, then the price of this card makes sense. The thing is, is that everybody comes out and they said, Roby, this card should be $699. Totally, totally agree. These cards, well, it's weird. I agree, but I don't agree. Remember, I spent 20 years in corporate Microsoft and I understand a little bit about why things are priced the way they are. Same thing with the Microsoft Xbox and all those other things. But point being is that, oh guys, we're really one minute left. If we can just unlock level five and then we give do a giveaway. If we can just do that real quick. I wanna make sure, I know you guys are really into my diatribe, but you guys have gotten so close to hype train, let's get, just get this done. So just level, just one more, one more little nudge over, devoted phantom, and then we'll, I'll get back to my diatribe because I, I wanna talk about this. And I know that people aren't gonna agree with me and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being wrong. I just, you guys wanna hear what I say. Riddick, thank you very much for the 10 gifted subs. You're a rock, you're a rock star. Thank you, Riddick. Uh, so we unlocked the giveaway. So when we think about this card, and when we think about these cards in the pricing in which AMD and Nvidia have both set the costs, that's where I said, I don't think you should pay more than $1,199. I definitely, I mean, I have sitting in the other room a $1,600 RTX 4080. That is ridiculous in terms of, I don't know, I don't, like, the card's cool, literally, but I don't know if it's $1,600 cool. Um, and so, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, right? And so Steel Grey Rider, like, people were, like, when I did my review, when I did my review, I was trying to keep that in mind because I'm not one of those people who wants to go out and say, Hey, I think it's overpriced. I don't know because I want to make it, I'm going to price it based on what the overall, overall cost is going to be for the holistic thing. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about the 3080 because that wasn't, we, 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 we started to do testing and then we saw that this thing was so much more powerful than the 3090 Ti, we decided not to even include that data in there. But I, you know, I know that, I know that Steve and others came out there and they said, look, for 50% performance over the 3080, the 4080 doesn't make any sense because it's like for 70 70% more money. The one the argument I have for that, right? The argument I have for that is that the experience that this card unlocks versus what the 3080 unlocks is very different. This card is a true 4K graphics card. It is better than the 3090 Ti, which I consider the first 4K, real true 4K, non no fluff, no DLSS, no of that other crap that people stick onto it card that you could actually use to do 4k gaming the 3080 you can't it is a it, like i don't as somebody who literally and and I, I understand i'm in a different sphere than most gamers but i have had i have been trying to game at 4k for five years once the 3000 series came out i had it on a 3080 it was garbage i did a 3080 ti it pissed me off 3090 also made me really mad 3090 ti was the first time i could use my 37 inch 4k 144 hertz monitor and actually game at 4k without an issue you can't do that with a 3080. I understand, and, and the part that I had an issue with, with people just saying raw performance numbers, is those performance numbers don't necessarily translate to experience. And this is essentially a still a step up in terms of the capabilities, in terms of what this card unlocks, not talking about frame generation or anything like that, but for higher end gamers, the people who are actually spending the money on this, this is a much better card than the 3080. The 3080, was not, I just don't think it was a great card. I, 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 I thought it was way better than the 2000 series. I think the 3000 series was okay. I actually like what this one was. I wish it had the price of what the 3000 series is. But I will say that to go back and say like, would, you know, the thing that I thought was unfair and I was listening to Linus, Linus says, uh, and it wasn't Linus, it was um, one of Linus's guys, but he said, he goes, you know, but would you spend that much more money uh, over a 3080. A 3080 seems like a better value. I'm like, compared to what? From a 4K standpoint, don't go buy a 3080. That's a terrible card for 4K. I'd rather buy a 4080 over a 3090 Ti, which is the only other 4K card that exists besides the 4090. So I think from a value, when you look at true 4K gaming, this is a much better card until the 7900 and XTX come out, which are supposed to also be 4K gaming cards. So that's the other argument that I kind of had from there. And that was the thing. So that that's like, I understand that the 3080 is 
699. The 3080 is not a 4K gaming card. And if you, and most of us don't, like it's really funny, no rest for the wicked. I will tell you this, on the Steam hardware, Steam hardware, most people use 1650s, 2060s, and 3060s. This card is for like the 1%. No, like most people don't spend the money on cards like this. This is not, this is like from, from a marketing, from a market standpoint, these things are meant to stand on pillars for a very few people to buy because most people are buying $250 and $300 cards. They're not buying $1,000, $1,200 or $1,600 cards. That's for weirdos like myself and so many other people. Like, I mean, I'd love to get a raise of hands of how many people actually have 3070s or higher. I'd love to see a raise of hands because that's, that's just kind of my thing. That's the problem is that the, at this argument, the stuff that I care about, and this is what I actually even said in my video for AMD, of which I was called an AMD fanboy and an Nvidia fanboy in the same freaking day, which tells you something right there. Here's the deal. What we don't know is we have no idea for the people, for, for normal gamers, what actually is coming. We don't, we don't have like outside of the rumor of the six core 3D cache AMD G, uh, CPU, right? And whatever is happening with at the 6,000 level and 7,000 level, uh, 6,000 level and 40, 70 and below, we just have no idea. So that's the point that I'm trying to make, right? Is like for most of us, like we're going into this holiday season going, I don't even know what to do because you're not going to buy a card like this. Most of us aren't. So anyway, that's my, that's my diatribe. That's my moment. Agree with me. Don't agree with me. I'm okay with it. I don't have to be agreed with. But when I did my review, I did my review with the impression and looking at the holistic, like holistic environment that is the world that we live in. And that is a world in which both AMD has called out and said, here's my flag, this is my price. Int Nvidia said, here's my flag, this is my price. We don't know for sure what AMD is going to do. I know people like BMOC know, are fairly sure that this thing is gonna come out and kick Nvidia's butt two ways to Tuesday and that is completely fine. That's what we want. I mean, honestly, I really do hope that he is correct for the sheer fact that if he is, then maybe we'll get a discount on the dang cards. You know what I mean? Because they have, they do need, they do need to get knocked down a few rungs. But the point is, I just don't think that's true. And so in that world, and we look at that stack, I think they're gonna be priced accordingly. And in that way, then the price makes sense. But it still sucks. So that's my two cents. Do you have a, oh wow, and look at that. Look at, this is why I love Blondie, because Blondie says, you know what, let's actually make this scientific and throw it in there, so. By the way, um, so Blondie asked, and I'm sorry guys, people had asked, can I turn on low latency for YouTube? There, I don't know where that setting is because it's actually not anywhere in OBS. Restream is what I use to actually stream to both locations, and there's no way to set on low latency uh, on the restream encoder, so yeah, it's the thing. But yeah, I, and, and so, hey, K, KG plays guitar. I play on a 60, 68, 60, no, 72 inch 4K, 120 inch OLED. That is my primary PC gaming thing with an RTX 4090 and a 13, no, sorry, 7950. That's right, we switched to AMD. On a 7950 and a, and a, and a, uh, and a RTX 4090, and it is, it is the bee's knees. It is completely unrealistic, and most people can't do that. So, yeah. 3070 Ti does count as higher, yes. I know, unloved homie, that is what it is. So anyway, I would also love the que question, do you have a 3070 Ti or higher? So 58% of you said no. So there you go, there you go. Over half of you, there are some of you guys who are up there with me, but it's it's going from there. But 3060 and th yeah. I'd, I'd love to know, I, 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 one more poll, Blondie, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna go run and grab a water. Do you agree with me? That is my, I'd love to know that. And I'm okay with no, I'm okay with no. But I'd love to know if you agree with me because I'd like to see, like, when I, is it, is it better to compare NVIDIA against NVIDIA or is it okay to look at it from a holistic pricing standpoint? Because that's what I did right now. So that's where it is. That's my diatribe. I hope you enjoy. We're gonna just build today. We're gonna have some fun. We're just gonna, we're gonna have fun, guys. I'm not offended if you don't, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and pop it in there and go from there. I'm gonna go grab some water and then we'll get started. I really am okay if you guys don't agree. <laughs> that's that's fine. I live in a world where we we have a public persona and we, we put our opinions out. And I think I've gotten some criticism because I just haven't stood some places, stood on a stood on a platform sometimes. So I think I'm trying to be a little bit more bold and just say, hey, here's my opinion. And I, I like that even in the Twitter conversation, which was like, 
I don't know, a couple thousand people looked at or whatever it was. Like, it was still cordial. Um, and that I think that's that's the that's what I'm trying to do is have cordial discussions. I know that people sometimes say I'm a fanboy, but I'm just looking at hardware and trying to look at numbers. I don't have a I don't have a I'm not a fan of one way or the other. I'm a fan for what's what's actually good at gaming and does its job. And if it works, then I'm happy. That's my go to the watering hole type look. It's funny because uh, I got in trouble from Intel. You guys will think this is funny. I got in trouble from Intel and uh, because we did this Intel Arc video and uh, the Intel Arc video, they got mad because they counted that there was more AMD stuff back here than there was Intel stuff. <laughs> and then in the same thing, I got told that I was an Intel fanboy. So I just, it's just, it's just funny. Oh man, you just can't win. You just can't win. You can't win. Oh, I've gotten in trouble from AMD too. I had to block up here back in the old day. I had two Intel systems and we did that AMD 6950 video and uh, they made me blur out. If you go watch that video, these are blurred out. You can't see them. So it is what it is. If the 340 is the same 320 FE, Nvidia could have saved a bit of money and lowered the asking price by reusing the 3080 FE cooler. That's how efficient the card is. I just think reusing a 40 is expensive. So I will tell you the most expensive part of the card isn't, I mean, yes, you could probably save some money, but most of it's in the PCB. And that's where most of the money was spent. You think Intel and Amy are gonna kick Nvidia's butt in the GPU market? I, I don't know about, so I spend a lot of time with the Arc. So as you can see from my very pretty, look at it, it's very pretty. Yes. Hey, nice. 70% 70, 70 of people. Hey, BMOC, I'm just curious, just, just to, not to call you out. Can you text me whether you, what you voted? I'd just love to know because I like, I, I value his opinion tremendously. Uh, but so I, I did an Intel Arc video. We spent a bunch of time with this card and uh, we spent a bunch of time with this card and uh, it is, um, it's, uh, it's got some work guys. It's got some work. I really want Intel, and I, 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 have a, I have a feeling AMD is gonna be a mag, I think this is gonna be a magical, I think this is gonna be the comeback kid year for AMD GPUs, I really do feel that way. I, I've got some really exciting stuff we're doing with AMD, um, and I'm excited about that. And, uh, um, hey, what's up, Li Liquid House? I'm really excited about that, um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I will say, I think AMD's got a really good chance. I, I don't know about, I think Intel's two years. If I was gonna say two iterations, let me just not say two years, two iterations. So yeah, um, yeah. Man, I just, think, here's my deal with, I think Nvidia needs to answer for the freaking fire thing, right? Like that cable thing is getting a little, this cable situation is getting a little bonkers. I mean, if you wanna talk about the single biggest issue that's miring this, man, that, that power thing is a problem. This power thing is a real issue. Uh, that's that's the thing right like I just that's I don't understand like how long is this going to go on and the other thing too is they are not shipping cards I have I, they're not shipping cards because they there is no answer and I also think that tomorrow they're not going to be a lot of these who are going to that are going to come out I know that's that is literally probably the worst thing about this right now is actually more about that so I know, that was the thing, OG gamers. Their, their latest update was that we're still investigating the investigation. So, I don't know. I hope they solve it because it, it mires the sales, but you know, at the same time, everybody's still buying them. So yeah. <clears throat> their AM, the update is there is no update. No, and most of us, like it's funny because we talked, like uh, Jay has it in his system, I have it in my system. A lot of us have them in systems to test by the way, I have, I have hydrated. A lot of them have had them in systems to test and I'm stretching um, and none of us have been able to have them go bad. I mean, and, and like we have them in all sorts of PCs with angles, weird angles and stuff like that. I've got another one now in this, in that frag box. And so, yeah, yeah it's gonna be interesting. I like how, what did Tom say? Tom said, Tom texted me, what did he say? Nice, Tom, hey, Tom voted number one. So that's what Tom voted. Where did BMOC, is BMOC here? He, I asked him to do it, but he, is BMOC here? Okay, let's talk about the build. 
um, and go from there. So yeah, uh, let's 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 uh, let's talk about what's happening today. Uh, first and foremost, guys, we do have giveaways. You guys have already been rocking the whole sub thing. Um, so one we've already unlocked. We got a level five hype train. So yeah, baby. So that's unlocked. Um, if we get 450, 250 likes. Sorry, it's been a while. If we get 250 likes over at youtubecom slash where we take live. Hey, so Bmock. So question. Did I? I just want to know. You didn't. I asked you to text me. What you thought? I'd, I'd love to know your thoughts. I actually have a lot of I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of respect for him, so I always like to see it. He's always my he's always my uh, sounding board. Him and Org, uh, both are fantastic sounding boards, and I like they keep me uh, they keep me uh, they keep me grounded. So I appreciate them. Um, so, but anyway, uh, also 250 likes over at youtubecom slash Life. Hit that thumbs up button. It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, it helps us and it, it makes us grow and all that sort of stuff. Goes good, David Weaver. Um, so if you hit that thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. If we get that, we'll do, uh, we'll get another, uh, we'll unlock some more uh, gift card giveaways. We're at 81 to 250 already. My diatribe probably helped. Um, let's see, we also have, and uh, this is the last bit. We're in the last month. We're giving away an RTX 4080. We're giving away an RTX 4080. So huge shout out for that. If you want to get in on that, uh, use your free Amazon Prime gift card, or sorry, sub, your free Amazon Prime sub. And by the way, to make it better, I had this conversation, the person will have a choice of either a 4080 or a 7900 XTX. So in the thing you will choose, oh, well, did you did you see my diatribe, Bimak? Because if you didn't, that's fine. Um, you will have the choice between a 4080 or a 7900 XTX, your choice. I actually had some people bring that up. So if you don't want to have the, eight, the 16 pin thing, we will give you a 7900 XTX as well. That will just come in December instead. Um, oh, the ads. Okay, sorry. We'll wait for the ads. Stupid ads. No one really needs 4,000 just to get 3,000 for builds until AMD 7,000 series. Ad revenue. I, I don't, I don't, I think that, I think the world's still, I think there are gamers and there are productivity people who need 40 series. Oh, ads are over. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ads, it says ads in progress. There's one minute left. Okay, right, so anyway, for those folks who don't want to know, we do have a 4080 or a 7900 XTX up for grabs. Uh, that is the sub giveaway for the month of October and November. If you want to get in on that, use your free Amazon Prime card, uh, Amazon Prime sub uh, to get in on that. That's one, that's one entry. If you subscribe to tier one, you get three entries. Subscribe to tier two, you get five entries. And if you subscribe to tier three, you get 10 entries. And then lastly, we have a PC giveaway that we're trying to unlock. It's down there. We're 57% of the way there. Once we hit uh, 2,500 subs, then we will give away that PC. So I, I don't actually, I actually don't know. Tier one is three entries, super swag. Uh, I don't actually know, like we were supposed to only run it for like a month, but at this point in time, I'm just like saying, hey, once we get to 2,500 subs, we'll just give a PC away. Also Saturday, we are gonna be giving away that PC finally. Uh, we do, we're we gonna give away that PC that we've been saying that we're gonna give away and then I keep forgetting to promote it. But Saturday, there is a stream, it's gonna happen. So if you wanna win a PC, give away one on, on Saturday. So pop in Saturday, we're giving away a PC. What is in that PC? That's a great question. I don't remember, but I will let you know and we will tell you. So yeah. Uh, how many ro entries for Roby Tech OnlyFans? I don't, you know, that's a great question. I don't think I should ever have an OnlyFans. I don't think you guys can handle this much awesome, so. <clears throat> um, if you're a tier one sub and then you're in November, do I get six entries for two months? No, we just allow you for the tier one, it just stacks because we didn't stream enough. We're just letting it stack. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that, DG Techno. I mean, honestly, it's, it's weird because I don't know what's going on with the, uh, I, I don't know if we can, I don't know if we, uh, What's going on with the whole like ads thing? It's just now it's getting it's getting crazy. So I didn't I didn't I didn't take a pay ad addition or anything like that. It's just doing what it's doing. Uh, what is the second choice for what? I don't remember what the first choice was. But going them. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the subs from everybody. Extreme Rip, Jules TTV, Dillinger, Dillinger all the stuff, um, and go from there. Okay, so let's. Let's, let's start talking about this build. So first and foremost, very excited about this right here. Lan brand new case. I know everybody's really excited about this case. This is the Lee and Lee Landcool 216. The Landcool 216. Uh, brand new case from Lee and Lee. Very, very, like a lot of innovation inside this case. We'll walk through it when we get to the point where we strip it down a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. This should be a super fun build and a great case to basically do this in. So let's talk about what we're putting inside of this. So just for fun. 
I don't, the RGB fans are, they're in, they're in the build. They're in the thing. Um, okay, so what are we doing? We're not gonna change any fans on this thing, uh, but we are, I'm huge shout out, obviously Gigabyte was a sponsor for this um, and in partnership with Intel to show off their new seven, their Z790 um, and uh, like they're kind of their whole kit uh, from, a, uh, from a Z7, from an Intel standpoint. So we're gonna use the Z790 Aorus Elite AX uh, motherboard. Uh, with that, we are going to be using the Intel Core i9 13th gen, the 13900K. Uh, for our PSU. Uh, to go with that, just continuing in the Aorus theme, we're gonna use this Aorus RGB memory, their DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. So really excited about that, some 6,000 mega transfer uh, RAM. We've got a two terabyte WD Black SN850X um, for uh, storage. And then, uh, you know, continuing on the new, you know, we gotta use the new, and this just came out, this comes out tomorrow actually. So we have the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4080. So we're gonna be building with a 4080 today. Um, and then uh, just because Corsair is awesome, uh, Corsair sent us, well, we had one already, an RM1000X. But in, in order to stick with that RM1000X, they also sent us their brand new 16 pin, their new 16 pin connector. So we're gonna be testing this today. Uh, and we got this, so huge shout out to Corsair for hooking us up with that. Um, also, just to keep the cooling going, I'm really excited about using this. It doesn't have RGB fans, which I know is gonna bother Bobby Cat, but we've got the LT720. It's got this cool box design on it. So we're gonna be using the LT720 with this uh, just to kind of check out the box design um, and then uh, see what the cooling performance is with this in stock fan mode. I know, uh, you know their AK400 ended up being the best budget cooler and I know a lot of people like the AK620 and they have a brand new AIO. So I figured we'd check that out too. And then lastly, uh, just from a, for a for cables, we got the uh, the good old Asia horse of which we only need the PSU and the CPU one. So it should be. I'm actually, you know, BMOC. I, I think BMOC and Org. I don't I haven't seen Org yet, but um, I, I don't. I haven't. Have you heard any good? I know that um, Tech Tesseract and those guys uh, did this, but I have to say I really like the uniformity of this of this thing. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So it should be a fun build. Should be pretty good. Um, we are, just for the sake of fun, I think we are, just for the sake of things, uh, we'll, when, if we, depending on if I put an OS on this or not, uh, we'll do a little bit of testing at the very end, depending just on how long this build takes. I, I will say, Lee, Lee and Lee has made building in this case about as easy as you potentially could. So I'm actually really excited to see how this, how this build goes together. But what do you guys think? Good build? We have a good build here today? Wouldn't you agree? Death it is. <laughs> I like it. I like it. No rest for the wigan. Good. Okay. People are stoked. Awesome. I'm glad that you guys are excited. And uh, we got we got more builds. We got another new case. Just so you guys know, another new case uh, coming up. Another new case coming up on Thursday. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure that you tune in on Thursday. We got a new another new case coming up. So it should be awesome. Uh, and you guys will be surprised because it's we're gonna do it on that day. It's all right. Thanks, Kurosaki. I appreciate that. So okay, let's get started. And we'll go from there. Okay, we don't need this right now. Ooh, wow, it's still a big box. Don't need our power supply right now. What we do need is our motherboard and all the fun stuff that goes with it. Don't need that right now. Okay, there we go, and there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, this does have the pop, guys. So let's go ahead and get our first prediction in. Will the uh, will the CPU socket clear the VRM? We have had it happen a couple times. It's been a while since we've streamed, so let's hope that this actually comes to comes to comes to fruition today. Bobby Cat's calling it. I hope he puts his channel points where his mouth is, though. I don't, it's not, it can be rusty. I don't have, I don't, there's not a whole lot of rustiness to it. It just does it or it doesn't. Maybe a keyboard review one day? Okay. I got a keyboard I want to review. It's got a, it's got like a, a graphics card built into it, a CPU, so maybe we will do that. Wow, Ghost Poner's dropping a uh, thing in there too. 
Those channel will never see the light of day. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that's got a, that's got a hefty, uh, that's got a hefty, hefty heat sink in it. They canceled the, 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 uh, the smaller memory one, not the 16 gig. They canceled the 12 gig, not the 16 gig. So. Okay, let's grab this and zoom in a little bit. Okay, here we go. Okay, first thing, will it clear the VRM socket? We still got the prediction. Yeah, they have, it's supposed to be pretty cool. It's got like, it's got a whole screen built into it and all sorts of stuff like that, the, the, the um, keyboard. Um, we're covering it on, we covered it on the news. If you wanna check out the news from last week, uh, we actually covered it there. 4080 is out tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. is when they go on sale, guys. And I'm guessing they will sell out instantly. Uh, Willie reacts. I would say if you're going to 4K game, then yes. If you're not going to 4K game, then no. You don't need it for 1440p. Okay. Waiting for that thing to go. While I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and do my hydrate request. Finally got that added to my dashboard. <clears throat> yeah, I know. Unfortunately, <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Yes. Unfortunately, you are absolutely right. Okay, here we go, guys. Will it clear? There's like a little piece of something in there. Okay, sure. I'll be right back. One sec, guys. One second. Okay, got that squared. Okay, let's see. I know you guys are now pent up. Is it gonna go? You'll know, you'll know. It's happening right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's in. Man, he's really, really confident it's gonna be a no. I don't know if that confidence is true confidence or what. <laughs> like it's a maybe? <laughs> maybe? Okay, we're gonna find out, guys, in just a second. I'm gonna put this away the right way. Okay, here we go. Big moment. Oh, I blocked it with my finger, but it is a no. I blocked it with my finger. Look, watch, win the replay. I blocked it with my finger. Dang it. Oh, well, okay, it was a no. I blocked it with my own finger. That's lame. Okay, next up though is the, uh, I know goaltending. That's pretty funny. Uh, next up, we're gonna do the prediction. Let's do 95. This, I think, that, I have a feeling that this RAM has tendency to be pretty quiet. So 95 on the uh, Oris DDR5. In terms of loudness of click. Nice gun logger. I didn't break it. Nice gun logger. Gun logger got some quality points. Wow, look at, look at that thing, dude. It's so big. Ugh. We got all the room in the world. I need, oh, got another one down here. 
There we go. Okay. Got it done. Okay, now. Easy come, easy go. That's right, points. Make sure you guys put them towards those uh, PC build mat giveaways. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's in. I'm trying to see how this works. I have a new clip here. Oh, okay. So it does work just like the AMD one. It's not like the other one. Okay, how do I get this to actually? Oh, it's just, it's just in. Okay, cool. There we go. That is a big clip up here. So they've made their, they've made their, they've kind of done their, their, um, Q-latch system with just like a bigger latch up here. So you can actually get to it a little bit easier. So that's a nice change from uh, from uh, the previous uh, motherboard iterations. Okay, so that's that. Now it is time for the RAM clicks, guys. Time for the RAM clicks. Remember, we're saying, what did we say, 95? 95 today, right? I'm, I'm setting the bar pretty low. So we're just getting this set up. Uh, the motherboard is, oh, Org's back, okay. Uh, the motherboard is the Oris Elite AX. So Oris sent us this whole kind of kit uh, for this build today with the 13th gen, 13900K too. There we go. Okay, here we go. Where's my knife over oh, there? Just getting, open it up. By the way, I don't, I think, um, I think, uh, I don't know if uh, Tom was able to find this mother, this GP, this RAM for sale. Nice pig. Were you able to find it? Okay, you guys ready to sit down? Oh, you did find it, okay. I just remember I thought you saying that nobody did it. Maybe I just misunderstood you. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop the music. Oh, sold out, but found. Okay, here we go. Stopping the music. Okay, here we go, guys. 95. It's all it's got to be. Whoa! 99! Holy crud! It, like, crushed it! <laughs> Holy moly! That was like, wow. That was like, <laughs> I was wrong. I was really wrong on that. Holy moly. Okay, one more. Okay, that wouldn't have done this well, but 99, I know I could have taken it to 100. Wow, that was really loud. <laughs> I was like, my ears are blown out, guys. My ears are blown out. <laughs> I love it. I was, I was like, you know, it's like, it was like, so you're saying there's a chance. Oh man. Okay. Okay. So we got that all squared. Yeah. My underwear have been sold. I like that. Um, yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's uh, check it out. Let's get our bracket installed for our new cooler. I, or we're using uh, the new deep cool cooler today. Look at it. Here we go. We're using the new deep cool cooler today. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna get that done. I don't know I, I I don't know I haven't heard necessarily bad or good things about this, but yeah. Hey Blondie, I would like to create a new class of tech specialist. 
a new class of tech specialists. They're not, they're, they're like, they're like, cause there's like, we have the tech specialists uh, who are on the discord, but we need to create like a class for the guys who are always on the stream. So I don't know if they're called like, they're like tech, I don't know, something new. That like, because like, you know, we, I, I like having, there's people who are, are part of the conversation who, who can create that bridge, you know what I mean? Between what we say, um, yeah, between what we say on the thing. But I also want them to be recognized in Discord. So I don't know if they're like, like, I don't I, I, there's a name there. There's a good name there. Yeah, tech influencers. Oh, I like that one. I like that one too, tech influencers. Or something like that that like highlights the, or stream techs. Or yeah, or tech, you know, stream tech specialists or something like that, um, that like highlights that they, not only are they, they the people on the stream, you know what I mean? But like people like BMOC, like Tom, like Org, you know, who are like those guys who are answer those questions and stuff like that, you know? So those fans are good, 85 C, whoa. Well, that's actually really good. Are those the same, so are these the same fans that are on, are these the same fans that are on the other one? Tech enthusiasts, I like that name too. Yeah, so if you guys have names, ideas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, like, again, I'm not saying that they, they may not want it, and that's okay, right? Like, I know Org is, Org never wants, uh, ne never wants it, but I'm just saying, like, those are examples of people like that who are always here, always helping people answer questions, stuff like that. This is just the LT one. Yeah, I don't think, the all white, I'm pretty sure the all white one's coming, K King. Star Techs, the next generation, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's up to them in terms of what they are, but I just feel like they, like, there's a difference between the ones who are just on the, on the Discord server, and I'd like to recognize the ones who are also part of our, part of like the, the part of the team that actually also represents our brand in so many ways as on a stream. Cause I can't answer all the questions and you know, those guys do like Tom and yeah, so many of the other ones. So yeah, Tiger team. Wow, you guys have come up with some great names. <laughs> tech talkers, oh, I like that. Tech talk with Roby Tech, but. I don't know they, they, if they have ideas or whatever it was like, but yeah, a couple, couple of them, like it, it's worth you having the conversation, you know more than I do in terms of them, but yeah. Tech pundits. Techtopians. Oh, but do the AK, do, this, do the air coolers have the same fans? Okay, these, this obviously has to move out a bit. Why does this feel like it doesn't fit? I should look at the instructions, guys, but, oh, okay. Okay, ha ha, I didn't need to look at the instructions. The tech gnomes, the tech gnomancers. Tech gurus. Oh, wow, that fits nice. Do you guys see how nice that just went in there? That feels really good. I like the snap. You don't have to put it all together. It's pretty elevated, though. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, but I, dude, it's, but for 35 bucks, that's a dang good cooler. That's a part that was impressive to me. Okay, so that looks like, that looks like, that's the AM5 stuff. Okay, so those are the screws for it. Hey, I'm gonna look at the book because I'm not entirely sure which one these are. Okay, LT series. So you have the right brackets, okay. Okay, LGA 1700. Push it all the way out. And they should say 1700 on them. Okay, I gotta find the 1700. 1700 brackets. Wow, they're like they're like labeled, guys. 
There it is. Okay, found the 1700 brackets. Here we go. 1700 brackets. Uses a different bracket. These are not gonna hold this on at all. Which is kind of why I was doing this already, but it, it's not gonna hold it on. But I can do this. Okay, so that's the 1700, that goes on, okay. And the LGA 1700 has its own, okay, okay. They should say 1700 on it. It says it says 1700 on the, on the actual like bracket itself as well. Interesting. Oh, never mind. It doesn't. Okay. It's not. Okay, cool. Sorry about that later. Okay, so this I don't know. I don't need, I don't need to worry about this. What I can do though is grab these and just put them on for now. Veritech? Well, I like that too. Just because it's very Robotech. But then I'll get sued. Why do you want to get me sued? Huh? Why do you want to get me sued, guys? The Robitex. Ooh, I like that. That's actually kind of cool. That's a nice play. Yeah, I like the Robitex. Well, that's a good... I like that name. I think they can have a... Yeah, we got DDR5 in here, in here for sure. Okay, we're just putting that on just to hold them for now. Because we're not... I need something to keep these from, like, shooting out, like, falling out and stuff like that. I know, exactly, Pandorian. Oh, exactly. Those guys, those guys do not joke around. Is it just, you guys want a little, you want it a little bit louder? Let me turn it up a little bit. There is music. I tried not to have it too loud. Okay, I turned it up a little bit. The Blondie Squadron? No, we don't need it. Hey, Blondie, speak of that. Is your PC set up yet? That is a good question. Uh-oh. Oh, what is going on, Blondie? Do we need to have somebody come over there and set it up for you? I built that one too. Yeah, she's got a heck of a system too. I don't have a hard drive. I mean, I'm gonna put the motherboard in now, but I need to put. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put a cool. I'm gonna put thermal paste on it real quick. Stealthy Archer, it's it's completely, people can go in the order they want. I mean, like for me, this is just the order I like. You can, if you want to do that, you totally can. I don't think there's any wrong, well, there is definitely wrong ways to build PCs, but in terms of orders, there's easier. I like this format. I mean, like it's always worked really well for me in terms of flow. I know some people do it different. I'm okay with it. go getting that thermal paste on oh man the whole bottom of that
Okay. Thermal paste is installed. Got that in. Okay, so we got our thermal paste on. I just left a little spatula mark there. We should probably, that's gonna drive me nuts. There we go. That's done. Whoopsie. Uh, J Blue Eyes, therefore, are like our tech, our tech team that basically is always in our in our streams. Like, so we have tech specialists on Discord, and they used to be they used to be the same group, but a lot of them don't. They're not here anymore. But yeah, nerd herd. Oh my gosh, isn't that from uh, isn't that from Chuck? I thought that was, yeah, isn't that from Chuck? I feel like that would, I think that might be a little demeaning. I don't know. I, it's up to them, but that, I think that's from Chuck. That might be copyrighted too. Oh, it'll get compressed when we put it on. Okay, here we go. Time to take this part. Okay, there we go. Oh, that just comes off. Okay, ooh, that's nice. That's smooth. That's a very smooth when you take that off. Remember that time I lost the glass? Okay, now the back. Okay, let's take the top off. Ooh, it's a little bit hot. Here, let's get this off. This side. There we go. There we go. These are captive. Nice. You can see me. Look, I, you can see me. So that's a nice clean install there. Okay, this just clip, this just pulls. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. And then we got in the front. That just pulls right off. 160 millimeter fans. Pretty, pretty bonkers. Lots of fans here. Okay, so I want to walk through the case real quick. This also comes off. We'll be able to take this off for doing the install um, of this. So this is actually completely detachable. Uh, you've got SSD mounts here at the top, as well as the ability to go ahead and have fans here, uh, just like the Landcool 3. You can see this is very perforated. You can see directly through it. So you can pull in a lot of air from the side and then you can remove these screws here on the side and actually remove this to do your cable management from the front, which is actually really neat. Uh, from the side here, you actually have this. You got two, uh, you actually have uh, two rubber grommets. This can be removed and flipped around and you can actually have it for a bigger EATX case if you want to do that as well. And then for the cable management on the back, you actually have these. Uh, little plastic clips to hold uh, to hold in uh, cables like EPS and all that sort of stuff. You've also got plastic clips over here. So really kind of the hope is, is that you don't have to use a ton of rubber uh, of zip ties. We'll see how many I use, but these are actually clipped. And then you also have the additional Velcro as well. Um, this top part here, uh, this is actually completely removable and you can move it down to the side if you want to. So you can actually, instead of having your power button at the top, you can actually have it down here to the side. And then it also comes installed with, you've got an ARGB hub and a PWM fan hub. Uh, for your fans, you've got an included two uh, 160 millimeter uh, fans. Uh, and then you've also got a 140 non-RGB in the back 
uh, support for a 360 at the top, 360 on the front, uh, and then of course you've got removable drive trays and all that sort of stuff. So very, very cool case, 100 bucks, right? It's like 99 bucks. Uh, and then are you tired? Yeah, so I do have the rear GPU fan kit. Um, so you can, uh, you do have two options here. You can remove this and actually switch this to a vertical position, but there's also a fan that you can install to, to pull additional exhaust from the back. Um, once I get the GPU in, we'll pop it in. I don't understand how that's supposed to work with the uh, GPU connection. So I don't know how you plug in your GPU. So we're gonna test that when we get in there and see how that looks. Because I know a lot of people have asked that question. I'll show you it, it looks like this. So you actually get, this is what it looks like. And then this can actually go right over that. And, it, and, it, and you can see the screws are right there. Um, it does, oh, okay, okay, so there you go. Hey, so org, and you guys, it actually actually has, um, you actually have room at the top. So actually you have quite a bit of room because the fan holes are right there. So you, the top two slots are completely open. So it actually would not block your GPU for that. Uh, if you plugged it in right there, which is the only place where the screws are. So, yeah, so actually you'd be good. And even in the vertical, yeah, even what you did vertical would be a little bit hard, but the other way you could. So you can actually take and put a 120 millimeter fan and put it here and then further exhaust uh, fan from your GPU. So, pretty cool. Nice little bonus. All right, so that is the case. Um, very, very neat case, very, very excited about it. First thing we're gonna do real quick, just to make things easy. I'm gonna go ahead, grab our wow stick. Okay, we're gonna remove the other panels. There we go, there's our side panel off. And then we're also gonna remove our top panel. There we go, and then this just comes off too. So it makes it really easy to just kind of move in and do stuff inside of the build. Okay, so there, our, ca our, our case is actually kind of, at this point in time, pretty much ready to go. The last thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and remove the drive tray since we're not gonna use the drive tray. It was just a simple clip to do that. So there it is. There is a stripped down Land Cool 216. And man, when it's like this, it's very, very light, which is actually pretty cool. So, this is not an, this is a, uh, this is a Lee and Lee chassis. So, okay, well, let's start putting PC parts into it. What do you guys say? This one you can do both water cooling and air cooling. Uh, you, and the only two is you actually have the option, this remember this, you can actually take out and rotate around if you wanna do like an EATX motherboard. But you, you can, you have pump, you have pump places you can place down here. Into the depths we go guys. Here we go. Might just, I think the fan is a little. It's gonna remove this 140 really quick. Oops, I knew that was gonna happen. It's fine, everything's fine. Okay, now we have access to everything. Let's grab our power, our stuff. Yeah, I'm not worried about the length of the, uh, I'm not worried about the length of the GPU. The GPUs, uh, this will fit a 4090 very easily. 
yeah, you, you, got, you got plenty of room, including even if you wanted to front mount an AIO and still put in a 40, a 4090 or 4080. Where is my other, my nicer? I had another screwdriver. I cannot see it here. All I have is Excalibur, but I have a magnetic screwdriver that I cannot find right now. Okay. For now, I guess we'll use this. Okay, there we go. We have a weird situation up here. Thank you, Jay Blue Eyes, for the sub. Okay, that's more lined up. I just had this weird situation up here where this one was not synced correctly, like it wasn't in all the way. But we're good now. Okay, cool. It does make it easier to just kind of get to everything with that, like that top off and everything like that. It's actually really cool. Just the ability, the, like how much room you just kind of have to move around and work in this case without actually having to uh, like work your way in a weird way. It's, it's just odd. Like not having this top is actually really nice. It's got like kind of a lot of freedom to just kind of work in the build and feel like you're not working around the PC. Uh, this is the Z690, Z790 Aorus Elite AX. Uh, we can look here in a second. Yeah, I think 30 millimeters. It doesn't look, it's not terribly big. I feel like it, it, it's, a, it's a very wide case, um, but I can look. It feels like it's actually pretty, pretty roomy. There we go. Okay, so we have all of our... Okay, so that's that. Okay, motherboard is in. Let's get our fan back on. Igor, thank you very much for the, f the gifted subs, my friend. I know a lot of people have been like, where have you been, Roby? It's been, a, it's, been a busy, it's been a busy time, guys, but it's good to be back and here with you guys and doing some builds. We got some good builds coming up, some commission builds next week. So yeah, it's all, it's like, it's good to be back in the, back in the saddle with the crew. And we got three day a week streams back. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of me. Okay. Looks like we're good there. What's up, Creepy Thick? How are you, man? Let's bring this back up here. Okay, good. We're good there. Okay. Motherboard is in. It's hidden. Flip it over. Ugh. You have this case as well. Um, no, it's actually, I don't know, man. That's pretty thin. I need it. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a, uh, I'm definitely going to have to get a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll have to get a tape measure so I can start measuring those depths. See you later, Igor. Thank you for coming in and just dropping the, the gifted sub. I need to play, what is that new one, Pentecost or Pen, the new one from Obsidian that came out today? I'm going to check that out too. I'm actually really excited about that build. Okay, so we, here's all of our stuff. This is all for the hub. 
Thank you, Speed Tech. I missed a motherboard screw. I'll, I'll take a look at it here in a sec. Thank you for finding that. Okay. Okay. So we got that. This looks like it's additional RGB that I just need to clean up. Dad joke from Hooded Mouse. Now, another Robitech dad joke phone out. Okay. Oh, and then by the way, I see that it's still going, but your last chance to get on. Zip time in. Zip time man, guess the count of them if you can. Even us, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip time man. Okay guys, get your vote in. You've only got a couple minutes to choose to still put your vote in on whether it's gonna be odds or even. So let's get that, let's get that done too. Okay, let me grab my thin. Okay, here we go. We're gonna clean just a little bit of this up. So it's not bad. Oops. Okay, here we go, pulling this all in. Ooh, shoot, don't lose that. Ooh, we gotta be really careful with these, wow. Pretty bendy there. Okay, be aware, you gotta be careful with pulling those at the top. No, the plug's not broken. It's just, it bent up a little bit, but yeah, no, it's not broken. They are, they are, they are not, they are not uh, the strongest. I will tell you that. I'm trying to get these secured so that way they stay. interesting concept here because if you want to get this clean clean not as straightforward as it looks <clears throat> yeah you could hot glue them if you wanted to I guess that is true that's one of a little bit nicer looking go getting them cleaned up first three zip ties are dead I sub the loose one here First set of clean. Let me make sure we're good there. 
What is this bent up to? This is bent up to do that, okay. And then this is all the extra stuff. Okay, cool. So I feel like we have a plan now and then that's cleaner and ready for additional stuff if we want to. Hey dad, you gotta grab this one. They want it, I want it on and then also with all the panels off. No, no, on the floor, yeah. There's a handle, you can great use the handle. Yeah, B-roll of it. Panels on and off. Panels on and off, yep. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's run this. There you go. That goes there. It's going to side panel. Actually, you guys can watch it from this way. Front panel. Right down here. HD audio. Right there. Do we have a, f do we have a, we do have a, f we don't have a fan down there, okay. We have RGB, which I don't know why this is not, oh that's for, this is actually for the hub. Okay, RGB. Then we have our regular fan hub, which we can place. Where would I want to place it is the question. I've only got the CPU optional and the CPU fan up top. We've got four fans down at the bottom. Okay, well, I guess I'm pushing it down here then. Yeah, it's a B-roll, but it's not gonna be empty. It's, yeah, it's a full blown, like it's a, it's like a pre-built. Yes. All right, here we go. Let's pop this in there. Okay, there's that. Okay, so I got, I just wanna make sure that one stays. And then we have USB-C. That goes right. Let's have that come up here. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, good. All of our cables are now placed for their readiness. Okay, let's go to top down. USB 3.2. Okay, there's that, USB-C. I feel like I might actually wanna run USB-C up and through here. I think it'll look better. Versus having the two separated. I can semi-hide that cable behind the other one. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got USB-C and USB 3.2, front panel header, which is all one, one connector, yay! That's so nice, okay, uh, RGB. Get in there, get in your hole. I will tell you, man, this RGB sometimes seems to get in its hole. Oh, that's because that's a four pin. That would be why. Well, don't plug into the wrong one there, Roby. That would be why it wasn't working. Yeah, I know. There we go, okay, that's in. And then now our audio. Okay, cool, we are, all of them are in, front panels are in, and we're good. Okay. Just wanna make sure that this ends up being Nicely.
Okay, so we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna do some RG, we're gonna wanna do some 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 good cleaning up of this. It's gonna take some work, guys. It's so funny because like they're essentially clipped in, but it's just like, I don't know, I just don't like the looseness of them. Might be a little just more too much anal retentive for my own good, guys. Go ahead and tighten that up real quick. Okay, there's that. Just trying to hide as much cable as we can so you just can't see anything. Okay, guys, don't forget, hit those thumbs. Go ahead over to youtube.com slash Robitech live. Hit that thumbs up button. I kind of want to, so you can remove this screw here remove this clip so you can remove all the clips you don't want if you don't want to have them but in this way I can actually clean up and run my cables the way I want to It's actually pretty cool. This one is not quite. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, that'll keep it nice and tight in there. Now you can't see any cables, which always looks good. Cleans up those cables nicely. You just gotta get one more group of cables to do what you need it to do. Little things like this that just make the whole thing look a little bit cleaner. And this will go into here and then we're good. There we go. I like that too. Wow, that's really nice. this back in there we go these are nice in terms of getting these back on which is actually pretty cool okay now we go and now we have all of our cables hidden there 
Okay, this we can actually, and this has the same thing. Wow, these clips, oh, so it's like, interesting. Okay, the clips go the other way, okay. I'm trying to see how these clips work. Okay, they go underneath. Like that. Okay, just getting this all good. Hey, Dollar Night, I wish I had a PC. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you don't. Thank you for the super chat though. that back in front panel header okay cool <clears throat> okay that's in front panel headers in Hide. We can actually hide. Well, I don't know if I care. <clears throat> okay. Okay, there we go. Cleaned up cable management already and that's all there is to it. And there it makes it really, really clean and then that's what it looks like, which is also very nice. There we go. Nice clean look, clean build. Zoom it out a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. But yeah, see, there you go. All this is all hidden over here. Same thing with up here. And there you go. <clears throat> hey, Pino, thank you very much. Pillsbury, thank you for the sub. Two from Riddick. We got another dad joke and a hydrate, so let's do those and then we'll uh, continue moving forward. <clears throat> okay, let's get one more dad joke. Gonna get a couple now, dad jokes. Another Robitech dad joke phone out. Okay, so a couple dad jokes for sure that we wanted to know. Let's see what we got here. Do 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 do. Bring it up here in a second. Trying to find it. Hold on, hold on a sec. What? I got dad jokes. <clears throat> uh. 
Okay. I finally managed to convince my wife to watch Back to the Future. It's about time. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm on a plane, and the lunch choices are white meat chicken or German sausage. Unfortunately, I'm seated in the last row. I'm hoping for the breast, but preparing for the worst. <laughs> that one was so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's your two Robitech. Now, another Robitech dad joke <laughs> phone out. <laughs> I was preparing for the breast, but probably got the worst. Oh man, that's good. Okay, <clears throat> let's see here. What if we, we should go ahead and uh, zip tie that up too. You need it all zip tied. That joke was the worst, that's right. Let's clean up this one little section right here. Oh no, did I put this on backwards? No, I did. Mm. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> okay, this is all looking very clean. We got clean down here too, which I'll be able to work on, which I'm actually pretty excited about for one fact that I'll be able to actually very cleanly uh, put, <clears throat> put the uh, work on the, the PSU cables. So cable manage the PSU cable so they look nice down here too. So I don't have any, you know, it's funny, like a lot of people talk to me, I should get Roby Tech cable ties. It is definitely something at some point in time I should work on. I, I, ha I don't know why I haven't done it, I just haven't, so. I forgot the motherboard screw right there. Thank you. I will get that squared. <laughs> get that motherboard screw taken care of. Yeah, this is the Land Cool 216. Yep. Okay. Okay, we've got all that set. Now let's get our AIO installed. AI, AIO, and on this farm he had an AIO. Ugh. Okay, so here is our AIO installation. That new deep cool AIO. Okay guys, don't forget, don't forget to hit those, those thumbs up button. We're at 216, 162 of 250. Let's knock it out of the park. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, it's got the little clips too, nice. And nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so we've got our land cool stuff, stuff and stuff. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, I wanna put that like that. Yeah, that seems really good. <clears throat> okay, there's that. Okay, it's coming out, it's coming apart. There it is, woohoo, done. Okay, next up, nice. Those are very nice looking fans, like in terms of just quality. I don't understand that question. What do you mean, how do you have a YouTube channel and Discord? 
Oh, do you have a YouTube channel and Discord? I do. I have both. <laughs> Thank you for asking. You guys having fun? You guys having a good time? You enjoying the build? Oh, shoot. It just shot at me somewhere, and I, I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay, last one. These are like really short fans. Everybody having a good time? What, what are you are you entertained? Are you having fun? You should do build challenges on stream. Like what kind of build challenges? What should I build challenge? What kind of build challenges should I do? I don't know how they chain. There's nothing to chain them into. I think they just have a large cable. Oh, they probably go, no, they look like they plug into, if they chain, I don't know what they chain into. I'll look on the instructions. Yeah, blindfold build would be really hard. I'll look at the uh, book and see if it shows me how they chain if they do. I don't see how they chain. I know there's another. I remember. Uh... <clears throat> yeah, there's this, which is the splitter. So there's a three fan splitter, blindfolded acrylic custom loop. So they have this, which feels like this is how you do the cable. Okay, here we go. Get our fans in. These are nice screws too. Wow, those are really nice. Fast and easy. Whoa, 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 calm down. I really like these fans. Like in terms of just nice, they're very nice fans. It's cool. Well, I'm, help if I actually aimed and got the fan in there. What kind of a, a mini PC challenge? We've done some of those. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, really? Yes, okay. Stuff like that, okay. So doing more vo user voice, user cho choice builds. Okay. I already built a fish tank. It's like literally right back here. It's like behind me. Oh, so like do the same thing that we did. Not cable extensions. Ugh. I don't know if I can do that challenge. You guys are monsters. Not cable extensions. What is that craziness? Okay, here we go. I could probably make this super short and then hide most of it in the back here so it's really clean. Can I keep my head 
Okay, here we go. Trying to decide if it's probably better to actually do the cable man. I like doing the cable management up where there's no way to actually see it, which is up behind the AIO. Because you won't, you won't, there's no way to see this, you know what I mean? It'll be completely hidden. Yeah, 4080 will fit in this, no problem. This card, this case has a ton of room. Yeah, I am still building keyboards. It'll probably be something we'll pick up in the new year. Honestly, I think it's really, when I started the keyboard building, it just, things got really busy for us, like all of a sudden, in a good way, right? We started doing some really great content, which is, I mean, which is what you want as a YouTuber, right? Like you wanna make, and so our content, we're making some really awesome stuff. We have, we're, uh, we have, I have some very exciting videos coming out um, in the next four or five weeks. Um, that are really re like high-end, high-end videos, right? That are gonna just be a lot of fun to make. Um, and I'm excited about those, so that's cool. But I also like, I feel like we're starting to tune the schedule, the YouTube, the streaming schedule to be a little bit more realistic for a balance between the both, you know. Just so you guys still get, I, I'd like to spend at least three times a week with you guys. Like that's really important to me. Uh, streaming, so I think we'll we'll probably end up we'll end up with a three time a week schedule, for sure for streaming. I've already won one speed challenge. I don't know. It's funny. I don't know if they do a speed challenge anymore. Side-by-side -side challenge, okay, I like that. Is that kind of like what you see? Is that kind of like what you see when we do, um, when we do uh, mod workshops? That is, that is definitely happening, Borg. He is not wrong about that. What's up, son? How are you, man? It's good to see you. There we go. All right, there we go. It's a nice, solid, clean. There we go. Okay, that's really clean and ready to go. Okay, so if this is the back, that's the back. This is the back. This has to go like this. Makes it really easy to just screw it on, right? Hey, Sha66, thank you very much for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Seriously, you guys made me blush this morning today when we finally got started. That 
with all the subs and everything you guys you guys did so I really appreciate it. Thank you, Chris B. I appreciate it, man. Trying to make sure we have it all hidden. Okay, not quite. Come on, guys, head on over to twitch.t or youtube.com slash robitech. Oh, shoot. YouTube.com slash robitech and... I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, hit that thumbs up button so we can get those likes. It's gonna have to split a little bit. is not gonna fit and be able to put all the screws at the same time, it's just not gonna work. I know, I they have been wanting to send me one and they keep bringing it up and then it keeps not happening. I'm okay with it, I can be different. I know what Linus thinks of me. even though we collabed. There we go. Okay. There it is. Yes, there's a couple screws missing, but they're not gonna work. So it's not, can't really do anything about it. Okay, there we go. Oh, we can put that in here. Put this away. I'm almost ready for the last part of this build here. I forgot, I still gotta put the... Uh... the bracket on. Okay. I'm actually really excited to see what this looks like when we have like the cube and stuff, like when we have it all lit up. I'm actually really excited about this. We already have thermal paste on the CPU. I know people are gonna ask, because they always do. <gasps> Roby, that's the thermal paste. You need that to thermally protect said CPU. You're right, I do. But I already have it on there. But thank you for caring. And sharing is caring. This is for the CPU. Okay, let's get our bracket here. Okay. And this, I think, comes off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you you got your you got your uh, give you got your giveaway. Yeah, I know she was doing prize distribution today. Nice, that went in like a glove. Hey, Red Dragon, thank you for the sub, my man. Oh, whoa, is that? Wait, 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 wait. I think something really rad, guys. Is this what I think? Oh my gosh, guys, the screw holes are magnetic. Us what when we're off 
Oh my gosh, that's that's brilliant. So it, so they hold themselves. You don't have to do any of that weird. Whoa, that is cool. But it's not cool. Oh, that is crazy. That is awesome. So yeah, just instead of and start instead of in. To install these became really easy because it just magnetically holds the screws into the, wow, that is brilliant. That is hype right there. Wow, that is huge. Hey, Anonymous Gifter, thank you for the sub. Not really hardened, no. I mean, it's always, it can be a little bit of performance increase for sure. Uh, if you just want to use the stock it is, it's fine. <clears throat> I like to use it because I like to paint the thermal paste on, so that's really kind of my thing. It is better performing thermal paste most of the time, but yeah, I'll tell you, most of these new, <clears throat> most of these AIOs at this point in time are starting to do nicer, nicer thermal paste. Okay guys, just getting this unplugged. Okay. Okay, the AIO is officially ready to be installed. We're like, ow, super prepped for it and everything. No, oh, that's one. Okay, put this away. Okay, so just a quick recap for folks who are joining us for the first time, because there's over 500 people here now, which is awesome. Uh, super appreciate you guys joining me. And I'm is just Roby, I'm the host of Roby Tech. Nice to meet you. Uh, we are king of the montages in the cable management. We build PCs three times a week, uh, Tuesday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and uh, Saturdays, uh, respectively, at this point in time is what we're looking at. Uh, we have some giveaways that are happening. First and foremost, we've already unlocked one. Um, we got a level five hype train. The second one we're gonna try and unlock is when we get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash rubytechlive. So head on over there, hit that thumbs up button. It'll make, uh, make your life a little bit more fun and all that sort of stuff. And at the same time, helps me out tremendously as well. We also have some other giveaways. Uh, lastly, we have a 4080 or a 7900 XTX up for grabs. If you're down to want to pick up one of those, uh, the way that basically works is uh, if you subscribe during the month of October and November uh, with an Amazon Prime subscription, then you're entered one time to enter to win uh, that GPU. If you want to enter multiple times, you can subscribe at tier one. That way, get you three entries. Subscribe at tier two, get you five entries. And if you subscribe at tier three, that gets you 10 entries. Also, every gifted sub gets you an additional entry, and every sub helps to unlock that PC giveaway we're going to be doing here when we hit 2,500 subs. So that is happening. <clears throat> the 4080 is dropping tomorrow. Uh, we are going to be using it here. Uh, thanks so much to uh, Oris and Gigabyte for uh, uh, sponsoring this stream, along with Intel uh, for doing this initial 4080 launch. And we're showing off the new Deep Cool Air Cooler and the Land Cool 216. So yeah, lots going on today. Super fun build. Thank you very much for everybody for hanging out and being a part of this. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. Okay, right, here we go. Time to put this in. So we'll go to side view so you guys can see this get installed. Again, we, we hid most of our cables uh, up in the top. So we just have this little itty bitty cable. Just gotta go in here. Let me just pop that in.
Sí, no se ve. Looks like we're gonna have to push this down a little bit. It's okay. A little too far one direction, so we'll go to the other screws. These are like really well tooled. Well tooled screws. So I don't have to push all that hard to. Okay, so we're gonna go this way and go as far that way as possible. Whoopsie. Oh man. Okay, whew, solved it. Okay. There we go. One more. Okay, we're just getting this plugged in. Just had to push it down a little bit to make it work. Okay, make sure that fits. I like the tubes, I like the tubes on this direction. It's my preference to keep them that way. something. There we go. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, got it in. That's nice and hidden, very clean. That's what we want. Okay, I was just checking before I went too crazy, before I loosen this too much to make sure that I can still get to the get to the uh, one cable that I want to. But yeah, that looks really nice and clean that way. And you cannot see any cables up there, which I like. So let's go ahead and grab our cable extension right here. Put in our CPU cable real quick. Hey, Die Hard, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Uh, air in, exhaust, uh, air in, exhaust, exhaust. These are 160 millimeter fans, so that should be absolutely fine. I can, if I needed to, you can add fans here if you really wanted to, to add some additional intake. It may not be a bad idea to add a fan here just for additional intake for the CPU. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, right now, all I'm doing is just that one. But you have a lot of air that you can, you can add two fans, you can add a second exhaust fan to the very back behind the GPU. So there's actually quite a few options, uh, should you choose to be crazy. Uh, in this uh, in this build. Yeah, 160 is a lot of, yeah, you got a lot of air there. Can't use rear fan, motherboard is in water cool position. What does that, what does that mean? The fan's fine. Oh, you might be right. Oh, I, can, I think I, oh, I can go down. I'll go down a little bit on the rear fan and it'll be fine. This is why we have adjustable fans. I do that. And your fan is not hitting. Yep, there you go. Okay. Okay, now let's get our cable extensions in. I 
There is two positions for you. Where's the second position for the motherboard? The rear fan looks like it fits fine. No, this is a, I don't think so. Is, it, is this a new song? I think this should be a different song. Oh shoot, that would be my mail, not the song. No, it's not, it shouldn't be. I'll forward just to make sure. Okay. I have to look at it, but this, the way that this fan, I, I don't, I don't have to look at it. I, I think I don't, I guess, I didn't know you could put the. I don't know, the only thing I'm trying to figure out is why is this not going in? There you go. Wow, that's that that just fits right there. Cool. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so there we go. You're talking when you say second fan, you're talking about the fan. Something keeping this from being flush here. I'm gonna loosen this actually really quick. Oh, that's bent. I was like, what the deuce? Is it not? No. Uh, the fan, this fan, the back fan thing is bent here. Which is weird. Okay, let's get our AIO on and then we'll go from there. Let's go to top down. So you guys can see the installation. That is what we want right there. Oopsie.
You want to see a setup of our, our uh, stream setup at some point in time? I'm a little worried that this is going to fall. That's going to make me mad. Oh no, come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, that'll make this one pop up. I'm batting a thousand, guys. Okay, luckily I got this thing. There you go. Okay. Okay, last one. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's run this right here. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna get this out and underneath so you can't see it. Okay, what I'm trying to do right now is just make sure that this is very, very clean very few cables. Okay, cool. So we've got that in now. Ugh. Let's grab our PSU cable. Sorry, our, our CPU cable. For our fans. First thing we're going to do is cut that other cable. Okay, that's done. And now we can grab our other CPU cable. Then our AIO will be installed. Minus the RGB, which is easy. Okay, come on. There we go. And you can't see it all, which is great. We have to be super clean. Okay.
Okay, let's go to this angle, which we almost never use, but you actually get the best view of what I'm doing here right now. What now I'm working on right now is just getting this, these cables super tight. clips now. There we go. Okay, clips used even. CPU cable. Okay, all we have left is our RGB. <clears throat> that looks really good. Let's grab our, oh, I can't tell if this is like a peel or, oh yeah, yeah, there's a peel on this, okay. I'm gonna take the peel off, guys. like quite the peel. Oh, that is like not easy to take off, whoa. I feel like the peel should be way easier than what I just went through. like sticky. Okay, finally. That was quite the peel.
Last bit of this connector for the AIO. If I wanted to be smart, I could actually I feel like I could daisy chain it right into there, or I can put it onto one of these. Fozzie, what's up, man? There we go. There we go. That is hidden. Okay, AIO is installed. Now we just gotta put in our cable extensions, then our GPU. Looks good. So let's get our one cable extension in, which is pretty straightforward. PSU. No unloved homie. You can't. You monster. Uh, both? <laughs> you can't because it'll physically make the PC ugly. Yeah, it, this is an M.2 build. That's okay, I'm loved. You can. Just to keep me on my toes, thanks. I appreciate it. with this the 18 pin it just doesn't I mean with the 6 the 12 pin it doesn't it's the only cable I have to worry about we are going to have a non extension cable in here though so I don't know how that's going to look we'll have to see I think the case, I don't know if the case is for sale yet. It might be, oh yeah, I think it is. We have a link to it. Ugh. Side view.
Okay, the important part here, guys, now is to zip tie this so it stays at a 90 degree. Okay, so what I did, just so you guys know, is I cable managed this. So in other words, this is being zip tied here. And the main reason being is I wanna keep this cable at 90 degrees from the front. So the way I do that is zip tying it to this cable to keep it steady. And then you won't have that, it'll stay where it needs to from the front. So just a little, 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 uh, a little uh, visual trickery. little visual trickery. So now when you look at the front of the case, I can basically, I now have this. And I have a nice little solid 90 degrees, which is what you want. And then that stays there, it's not bent down or anything like that, which just looks a whole lot cleaner. Okay, now guys, time for GPU installation. So our first 4080 unboxing on the show. This is the Gigabyte. We have four of them, four, four, 40, four five 4080s. So we'll have, that you guys will see, we have the Strix, the Gigabyte, the MSI, the PNY, and the Founders Edition. <sighs> There we go. So there is the box. We're top down for you. There we go. Yeah, shiny. There's the board. So it does have an anti-sag bracket that comes with it, should you need it. We'll have to see. She is chunky. See you later, Kilt Man. Thanks for popping in and saying goodnight, man. It is the exact same size as a 4090S, which makes no blooming sense, but it is what it is. Oh, this has got a lot of peels, guys. A lot of peels. So Mihai, we were talking about that. You guys missed the whole thing. Uh, we did a whole diatribe on that. And basically, uh, that's a hard thing to argue without, okay, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Cause some people haven't, haven't, had this, haven't, haven't had this talk. We're gonna take a quick moment to do this diatribe real quick. So totally agree. But the thing is, is that if we're gonna say it's the worst performing card for value of all time, then we're gonna have to also potentially say that about the 7900 XT and the 7900 XTX. 
So one of the things that I was very, very clear about, and I, I, I have a video coming out about this, is that when AMD did its initial, basically, performance uplifts versus the 6950 XT, that was prior to what NVIDIA's got with a 20% uplift from DirectX 12. So there is a chance, and I'd say a good one, now I'm hoping, I am hoping I am wrong. I am hoping I'm wrong that the rasterization performance for the 7900 XTX is slightly worse than that of the 4080 that just came out. So when you look at all of the next gen cards, the 7900 XT, the 7900 XTX, and the 4080 and 4090, I think that they will line up just like that. At 899 is the 7900 XT is the least performing, 7900 XTX at 999, the 4080 at 1199, and the 4090 at 1600 bucks, 1599. If you're gonna say that it's the worst performing value, then at the same time, you'd also have to say the same thing about the AMD cards, specifically, or prospectively, if their performance is less than 10% of that of the 4080, right? And so that's the thing that's interesting, right? Is when you look at the whole thing holistically, then it could, it could, and this is why I said I was gonna withhold judgment until we saw the performance numbers from the 7900 XT and XTX. Now, if the XT and the XTX end up being better than the 4080, then in that case, then I think, that absolutely, and we'd hopefully see the 4080 actually go on sale, just like what kind of Linus was saying. We did see a similar circumstance with the 5800X3D because the 5800X3D came out and everybody was like, what the heck is the usefulness of this CPU? And then the 7000 series came out and the 13th gen came out and they were like, holy crap, this ends up being the best performing CPU because all of a sudden you had all of its other numbers. So then the perspectives that everybody had in those reviews ended up being completely off because if you go watch the 59, the 5800 X, uh, X3D reviews, people are like, why the hell would you buy this? It's a dying platform. And now everybody's like, you should buy that CPU. You know what I mean? And it sold out because it was like first on sale forever. So I guess the point I'm trying to say is, is that I think that there's still not enough known for people to make that claim. The other thing too, as I will say about the 3080, is that they said the 3080 uplift between the 3080 and the 4080, it's 50% more uplift for 70% more budget. But I will say, for people who are buying these cards, who are buying them, which is mostly for 4K gaming, you cannot 4K game on a 3080. It is a garbage experience. This you can 4K game on. And for the first time, the 3090 Ti, which is which did review very well for most people, was the first card where people were like, yay, hey, we can actually really true without DLSS and all that crap, actually 4K game. So I think to, to compare the 3080 to the 4080 is a farce because the experience that you get on the 4080 versus the 3080, if you're talking about for the people who are actually buying it, is actually not true. And I feel like people took the experience out of it and just looked at rasterization numbers and then made a call. So I just think that there's a, whole, there's a lot that people aren't saying from a perspective standpoint, which I don't think people are looking at the whole picture. I'm not saying they're, they're, we, they could be right. I'm just saying they don't know. But I will say holistically, I would say every card, whether that's 4000 series or the 7900 series, because people are saying this should be 650 bucks, then every card at this generation is overpriced. So that's, that's my point. Because I just don't feel like people are taking the whole thing into account. I, do I, do I, the other biggest problem with this card has nothing to do with the price. It's the fact that the stupid thing still catches on fire and nobody knows I, why. And nobody's addressing that, and that's still scary. So that's my biggest concern right now. Because this could be a fantastic card and, a, and value in comparatively the other next gen card. So that's my two cents. Agree or don't agree, I don't care. It's, it's fine, you guys can change your mind. <clears throat> Chilosaurus playing, uh, playing, playing deal, non-DLSS Cyberpunk, non-DLSS anything at 4K on a 3080 is not a good experience. It depends on the games you play, but it is not a true 4K native experience. A true, the first true 4K gaming graphics card came out with a 3090 Ti. And for people who are buying these cards, who are spending that money, they are looking at those cards for that reason. And I just, I don't, I, I hate it when people take the value proposition of a budget-minded gamer who is not buying this card. I mean, guys, everybody has like 1060s and 3060s and 2060s. Those people who are buying this card aren't buying 
budget cards are buying it for high-end, top-of-the-line gaming experiences. So that's, that's just my point. I didn't say on every game. I didn't say on every game. I said as a true 4K graphics card that can handle anything at 4K, a 3080 is not a good 4K card. I have been trying to 4K game for five years. I've had a 37 inch, a 30, a 30, sorry, a 43 inch 4K 144 Hertz monitor that I refused to game on forever. WoW had problems with it. Anything that you really tru truly push native 4K control, cyberpunk, Unless you had DLSS, you were having a subpar gaming experience. The 3090 Ti was the first one that could really do real 4K. And I think the 7900 XTX and the 7950 will absolutely be the same thing. And now I am happy as a clam on my 72 inch OLED with a 4090 playing cyberpunk and all those other games at fantastic rates. I'm just saying, it's it's a thing, yeah. I'm not saying the 4080 is a bad card. The 4080 is a 1440p card, not a true 4K card. I'm hydrating, I'm hydrating. <laughs> uh, well, here's the thing. You can also, I've also seen it at Plague Tale, like Plague's Tale. It'll be the same thing on, like I've, I've seen it on, I bet you Witcher 3 will have the same experience. COD, like high frame rate COD is a really great experience at 4K now. Um, or Modern Warfare 2. Um, so yeah, there's there's a number of games, right? And I also think it will continue to get there. I bet you Spate, like the new one from Bethesda, same thing. There will be a lot of games that will just be better now. Forza Horizon 5 is great on 4K with a 4090. Uh, develop, you are not looking at the right the right stuff at all. It's It's significantly better than a 3090 and a 3090 Ti. We literally have all of the numbers that that's not true. <laughs> you guys are like, what? All right, let's put this in any. And I, guys, I'm okay with you guys. I'm okay with you guys disagreeing. That's fine. We're having fun. That's all it is. I, that's my diatribe, my platform. It's okay. I, you don't have to be, you don't have to agree with me. That's okay. Holy crud. I just realized. This is only a two, it's only got two slots. I totally took a slot out for no reason. I just expected it to be like the, every other one. Okay, that was kind of a surprise. I was not ready for that. It is a thick boy. I don't think that's actually in. having a little bit of a struggle here. There we go. That filled better. That sounded better. <laughs> there is a GPU stand that there is a GPU stand that does that does come with this card, yes. Okay, wow. I think you're gonna need a sack bracket. Oh, that hurt. Will I need a sag bracket is a question. 
yep, you will definitely need a sag bracket. Okay, let's see how the sag bracket works here. I didn't know, I didn't think you would need it, but I was wrong. You definitely need a sag bracket. Woo! Some of them have reinforced, reinforced stuff. This does not. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I just realized, I don't know if I, this is interesting. I've never seen it on two lines. I don't know if I like that. I like it better when it's all one word. I just noticed that. Okay, how does this work? Wow, how does this work? Okay, wow, okay. So this actually connects, interesting. Wow, okay, this is quite the sag bracket, guys. This is like a legit sag bracket. Okay, this is uh, interesting, okay. Let's see how this works. This is like legit sag bracket. Legit sag bracket, guys. Okay. Okay, so here's how this sag bracket works. So you see these screw holes on the back? That's how that goes. So you have these on the back here. So you have a bracket that you install on the back of the card. It is a mighty, mighty sag bracket. You, you do not want, they do not want you uh, having to worry about your SAG with this card. And the sad thing is, is that this card doesn't really need this kind of cooler. No oh, shoot. how I wish for magnetic screw holes right now. Okay, got one in. This thing is not gonna sag at all, maybe. Okay, so we got that in. Now, what we do is this mounts onto that. So, we're showing the whole Shabeel here, guys. The Shabeel deal.
Okay. This is not as easy as it looks. Nope, that's too thick. See if one of these will work really well. All right, looks like it'll work. Wow, this is kind of a giant pain in the butt, guys. not fun. Man, this is not... The problem is, is that these standoffs are... Like, they don't quite... Man, these do not. I'm trying to see if there's something else I've missed here, but I don't think there is. I think this is how it works. Yeah, you're supposed to put these in. not easy though <laughs> so these little standoffs have to go into these these holes but these holes like to get to them is not as straightforward as you think and it's like and uh, brutal and I don't want the card sagging but to do it. Man, that kind of went in. Oh, wait. Oh, I see. Okay. I figured it out. Okay. There's different size There's different size standoffs, okay. Never mind, it's easy if you do it the right way. You pay attention. Okay, so there's different size standoffs. Okay. Now, Now this goes into this. You need like 30 hands. going to do a good job of holding this card in place. Lord. Wow.
There we go. Okay, finally, now for the last part of this whole process. Now we take this. That has to go underneath. Okay, there we go. Okay, now it's not sagging. Cause it is like screwed into the board. It's actually kind of a neat mechanic. It's just not easy to do, but that, that card is not going. That card is not going, that card is not sagging now. It's like reinforced into the card. Like that, that's rigid, baby. That is like installed. I'm actually like not not hating it. Like it's it's just a little bit of a, a little bit of a process. It's just it's just like crazy. I've never done something that involved when it comes to a a sag bracket, but it's not terrible. It's actually like just in terms of just solidness. That thing is like you could ship this now. And it just wouldn't move, right? Like it, look at, I mean, look at that. It's just like, it's in there. Pretty cool. Well, there are already RGB sag brackets. I mean, it's too bad we need reinforced GPUs in the first place, but you know, hey, not gonna, not gonna complain. Just saying, it was an interesting, Interesting thing to see. Where's my, there it is. All right, so we got our sag bracket in. Now, just got a little bit more and then we can finally turn this thing on. Yeah, dude, you gotta put RGB on everything. That's just how it works, right? Hey, Jez Place, thank you for the raid, man. One, one raid, appreciate it, man. Okay. Okay, well, we are at the end, guys. All we have left is our PSU. We have that new cable from Corsair. So we're gonna check this out. Our new Corsair cable. Uh, not that I see, no, there's no ARGB or anything like that. All we have is the 16 pin connector. The AIO is the new deep cool. I'm actually really excited to turn it on. Did I put it on right? Got 
Guys, I didn't put the deep cool on <laughs> right. Dude, I didn't put this on right. Oh wait, oh, the K, oh, that's supposed to go at the bottom. I didn't even put the whole thing on right. I mean, not that it matters a whole lot, but yes, uh, just so you guys know, they want the actual hoses at the bottom of the, of the, of the thing. So I just realized that I was like, man, that logo doesn't look right, but that would be because I put the thing on. Wrong. Well, I don't know, I mean, honestly, I think this direction, I don't think you could get it to fit that way. You'd have to go the other way because it has to come, it'd have to come down. And the only way, so you'd have to like, I'd have to completely switch the AIO around to do that. It is sideways, yeah. Which I not, usually you can just rotate them, but this one you cannot. That's right, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll just uh, rotate the whole case. That makes the most sense, you guys are right. Okay. All right, so all we have left now, guys, is the PSU, and then we're done. So that's how the build looks so far. That's all we got left now. So there's our build. Pretty much ready to go. Is it sagging? That's the question. I know. I like the. I like it when the beach, when the when the things at the very end. I agree. The one cable doesn't look so bad. I would have rather used one of my other ones, but it is what it is. I'm really kind of. I'm really kind of sad about the decool thing, but to fix that would be a uh, be a lot of work. I can't. It just. It's got to go down. You'd have to like, the tubes would have to be on this side, which means you'd have to rotate all of the fans around and everything to be able to fix that. All right, let's do our CPU. Uh, Better's Marksman, I'd have to take out the IO, completely unmount it, take off the radiator, switch the fan direction, switch the radiator direction, and then reinstall it all. It's, a, it's, it's not a small amount of work. Red Pyramid said like, more content. Yeah, 24 hour stream. Okay, so here's our RM1000X. Uh, All right. Yeah, the problem is on better marksman, it won't fit because the, the tubes, the tubes have to be at the bottom and that won't work. This will push against the rear fan. You literally have to move the tubes the other side in order to do it that way. In order for this to be correct, this tubes need to be at the bottom of the, of the AIO. So you'd have to rotate the entire thing.
I don't know if I don't know if the 6950X is going to drop a whole lot more. I mean, Black Friday is always a good chance, but I don't know. I feel like they're keeping that price. That price is pretty dang good right now. I, you can never tell for sure, though. So the tube, you couldn't rotate, you'd have to literally take this off PC guy and rotate it. And these tubes, in order for this cold plate, so here, here's, I think here, I'll show you this way. This is how I'll show you. Let's show you guys this way, hold on. Cause I think it's, I think you guys aren't fundamentally getting what I'm saying. Okay, so on this cold plate here, whoa. Oh no, our top-down camera died. It's been too long. Um, I need to switch batteries in that thing. Dang it. Well, now I don't know what to do because our thing is dead. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let me see if I can do it from the side camera. Okay. grab my light I think I need to switch batteries that are inside that okay so in here's this because it's always about learning okay so the way that this cold plate works is the see these indentions right here that indention is the only way it doesn't rotate any other direction so in order for this to work, that indent, this, these tubes need to be where that indention is, which means these tubes need to be down here. In order for them to be down here with this current setup, the tubes would be way too loose. Because you, the reason I have them rotate this, and this is how most AIOs are, is I have the tubes on that side. Because the cold plate only fits one, the, the cover only fits one way, I would have to completely take the whole thing apart to make this work. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, you can, yeah, you can control all the fans with the, with the, we'll be able to control all the fans with the, the way it's hooked up is for the motherboard. So yeah, that's why I can't, ro for me to rotate this, I literally would have to take this off and then I need the tubes to be on this side. So then the tubes come down and then we'll be at the bottom. But I don't, I, I, I feel like that's kind of a fault of the, of the AIO cooler because the other thing with most AIO coolers, except for EK ones, you can only install it in one direction. And most of the time the tubes are on the side but I can understand why Deep Cool did that because a lot of times these tubes, yeah, these tubes cause pressure on the RAM slot. So I think the reason they did that is because then you don't have the RAM slots, but then you can only install them that way. Because you'd have to take this out. Okay, let's just rotate it. We're just gonna make it right. Then we'll, you guys time it, ready? You guys are gonna time it. You guys will see how long it takes for us to actually do this.
there's that. This is stuck on something. That takes care of that. Shoot, don't bend those pins anymore. Okay, here we go. Now, okay, that takes care of that. Well, we're gonna have to do the washer mod anyway. So anyway, that was a good check. See how that is? We're gonna have to do a washer mod on this on this on this board because we're not getting good pressure on that thirty on that thirteen nine hundred K. So we'll have to do that too. Okay, let's fix. This and this. We're uh, fixing the AIO.
Okay, got our washers for the washer mod. Okay, let's hit play here. Okay. Switch these around. I'll turn the top camera on here in a bit, guys, so I just gotta let it charge. To rotate the fans around and stuff like that, yes, it's not a non-instrumental amount of work. Non-trivial, that's, that's what I meant to say, non-trivial amount of work. Okay, that part's done. Okay, let's flip this over. Okay, flip this around. We'll have to pause the timer when we do the uh washer mod because that's not part of it though i mean in the end you're right sometimes it happens for a reason we found out that the cooling on this would not have been good Okay. Okay.
Okay, if we're gonna temporarily put this on, just so we can do the washer mod. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get the top down camera to work again. Go to here for now. I'm just not tall enough sometimes, guys. for now. Okay. See how on this on here on the AIO. If you look right here in the, wait, why did it, it's on. Okay, hold on. It's just a camera being funky here. There we go. See on the, see on the cooler? on the AIO. See how you have this hourglass pattern here? That's what we're fixing with the washer mod. Okay. Shoot. Crud. Shot a washer mod out of the... Why is it not? Definitely long enough. Okay.
Okay, got that one. Now somewhere in here, I lost the washer. Got to find it. Ugh. There it is. Okay. Okay, washer mod in. Okay, now, put thermal paste back on. At least you guys know I always do the, try and do the builds all the way correctly. It uh, flattens, it brings the, the, the socket up a bit so you get better con contact with the cooler. It's not, you don't need it for every single board, but it, like if you're, usually if your temps end up being pretty bad on an AIO, it's always something worth checking, uh, especially on a 13th gen or a 12th gen or a Z, like any Z board. And this is why I actually cover the entire IHS, because this way you can actually see if this is a problem. Because you can check the spread of your cooler this way. Okay, now, it's gonna go like this. And we're gonna have to cut this. Also going to go ahead and keep this on.
I'm gonna be able to do that as much as I'd like to. It's not gonna stay. I could hide the thing this way, but then I can't get to the actual. Come on, let go. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. So do you guys want to see what the pattern looks like now so you can actually see the difference? Because I can actually just take it off and then we can do a reapply if you guys really want to see it or I can, I can actually just move forward with the build. But if you guys want to see what it looks like now, we, we could actually do that. It took 24 minutes, okay. Well, it's not done yet. Now we can finish hooking this up. Not quite done. Just gotta finish hooking up the thing. But now, look, it's correct, okay. Okay, let's finish hooking this up now. But cooler is done and fixed, which is good. Okay, now, 
Almost done. Almost sw completely switched. Not quite there yet, guys. to fix that, hold on. Almost there. Fixes that problem. Okay. Now I can finish this. Okay, now I just got a cable fix one thing, and then it'll officially be finished. Ugh. Okay, this is the last cable, and then it's gotta be cable managed. Falcon, this is uh, the frag box. Okay, now, yep, frag box. Okay guys, that was it. Now we're officially done. How long did that take? That was the whole thing. So yeah, there we go. It's still a sub substantial amount of time, but yeah. But it's done, the cooler's fixed, and now, we can put in the PSU. Remember when we were here? <laughs> okay, but it is right. Yeah. Thank you for holding me and being accountable, guys. It's one of the things I appreciate about you guys. You guys are like, do it. Do it, Roby. So I need two separate ones of these. Any of that. Two. You did, mortal.
Okay. There's that. And our PSU, okay. Yeah, it would have been an hour without the wow stick, that's right. Okay. Oh, I need the, need the PSU. Uh, it's it's not a new PSU. We've actually smelled it before, so it's 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 been de de smelled. I guess I don't know the right term. Aired out. There you go. Pre-smelt. Okay. Guys, last part. Last part. Oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't need those at all. These just plug directly into the PSU. I guess I don't need these at all. Sorry, I just realized that I did. I got. I pulled cables that I didn't need because it just plugs directly into the PSU. There we go. So all I have to plug in is, all I have to do is plug in this and this. And now we have the 16 pin connector. There we go. For the Gen 5. Just plug those into right here and right there. Okay, that is that. That's all there is for power. Oh no, there is one, dang it. There's one SATA for the, A the A ARGB hub. So while I got all but the right cable, I needed one more of these. Riddick, yes, there is a chance of the same thing. There we go. Okay, let's plug in this one. Cable, that'll be for, okay, that's not, uh, that'll be one that I don't have to worry about. Okay. And that is that. go.
See you later, Trey. Okay. Yep. Okay, guys. Okay. So now we have a fully cable managed build. It looks good. It's like clean across the board. Even the top is clean. Like the whole thing just looks nice and clean. Let's just make sure the front looks good including the lower tray. See you later, man. Making sure that's not bent too much. So there, even, even in the bottom tray, right? Like the bottom tray even looks clean, right? So we got a clean bell there. Now all we have to do is cover up our bottom tray. So everything looks cable managed. So there you go. And our display and our and our and our thing is on right. Okay, we have it all right, guys. It's all correct now. You guys are happy. I'm happy. This, <laughs> Deep Cool is happy because their AIO is the right direction. Which I mean, why wouldn't they be happy? Because they want it to be. Okay, so somebody had said, I'm gonna just see.
Yep, you're right. The this would cut this the fan would get covered. It always helps to do to just say that we're gonna do it right, you know? That's the right thing to do, and we did the right thing. We weren't lazy, we just did it right. Which I think is what you guys expect me to do. Okay. Put all this stuff away. Okay, next up guys, let's put these away. Let's put our AIO back together. I mean, our case back together. Then we'll do our sponsors real quick and then turn it on. Wow, that back went on without a problem whatsoever. There we go. Case is back together. And we've even got the super peel. Got a couple peels that we'll get to do as a, to end the stream today. Just for fun, let's do the side one. Do the inside one. Yeah, it's ready for the big peel. When we get to the end. Let's quickly do our, let's count our zip ties and then we'll uh, do our, do our deals and stuff and then we'll turn on the PC. Guys, we, uh, we got it done. We, uh, you guys, you guys kept me honest. We uh, got the PC redone. We got it finished correctly. So we could do, we could do another hype train. We could do another hype train and unlock another gift card if you guys wanted to and uh, have more giveaways. That is still happening. Thank you very much, Hetan, Hetanis. And don't forget, you're entered to win that 4080 and, uh, sorry, that 4080 or that 7950, 7900XTX if you wanna get in on that. Uh, just drop your uh, Amazon Prime sub. Uh, that gets you one entry. Subscribing at tier two, one gets you three entries. Subscribing at tier two gets you five. Subscribing at tier three gets you 10. And then every gifted sub gets you an additional entry. And then that also goes towards unlocking that awesome uh, PC we're gonna be giving away as well. And we got the YouTube gold. So let's see if we can get the hype train going. But first, let's count our, uh, let's count our, our uh, zip ties if it's odd or even. So here we go, guys. Pausing it for a second. Zip tie man. Two. Zip three. Man. Zip tie man. Four. Guess the count is five. One, two, make your way three, four, five. So we're at ten. One, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, twenty-five. It is odd today, guys. Odd. Odds are the thing. Odds are the winner today. Evenly odd, that's right. Wow, we got people trying to get the hype train going. We can make it happen, do another giveaway. Uh, 
Okay, let's get our, let's go through our sponsor stuff real quick. And then we will turn it on and get this thing finally booted. Okay. To town, Scott, Cali CT. Exactly, we got one more. We need one more person to start the hype train, guys. Then let's rock it. Get another gift card going. We can do this. We can do it. Let's get some hype up in this place. Okay. Hype train started, guys. Dewum Slayer dropping it right there. Derail, let's get to level five. While I'm doing that, while we're doing that, let's uh, get this booted up and ready. PC's done. Level two. Remember guys, you can unlock that giveaway. We can also unlock that, uh, you can also unlock uh, that PC. I'd love to see us get to, can we get to 1500 guys? We're 29 subs away. Let's get to 1500. That would be a great number to end the night with towards that PC giveaway. And then we have the last 1,000. Thank you very much, man. I'm glad you liked it, Clash. Bittersweet dropping five gifted subs, taking it closer. That's my man right there. Appreciate you, man. Also, uh, Derail, subscribe. Dewum Slayer, subscribe. To Town Scott, thank you very much. Uh, Callie CT, uh, XMX, I am me. And then to Town Scott with another one, guys. It's crazy. Cosmic Jordan three gifted subs, taking us to 1476. I think that's a good year. I don't. I don't know. Thank you very much, Cosmic. Oops. Lock this in so it doesn't do that anymore. Pe Peaky pe Peaky PK. Piki Piki! That reminds me of a, a Puke Puke from uh, Monster Hunter. PK PK, thank you very much for the sub. J Jumbo Bears, thank you for the sub as well. Guys, taking it to 1481, 19 subs, and we hit uh, that, that 1500 mark, uh, less than 1,000 subs left to, to give away that PC. And on top of that, guys, uh, getting close to that level five, that level, uh, level five hype train already. So thank you, let's finish it out, guys. Four minute, we'll, we only have two more tiers. 18 subs, I think, would pretty much like knock it out. And then we'll turn on this PC, and we'll, the SAG bracket is doing such a good job. So it looks so good. You guys have been so awesome. I really appreciate it. Your support and everything. That looks so good. Oh, that scared me there for a second. The way that cable sat, it was like, wait, what? It looked like it was like bent down, but it wasn't. Okay, whew, made me nervous. I was looking at the thing though. Like that, that, that card is like straight as an arrow. Like it doesn't get any more straight. They have like this weird way that they've kind of set this up. It's like the cable's twisted, so it's got like this weird setting in it. They're right, but it's like hard to get it like locked in there. There we go. A 
Come on, guys. Three minutes left. Let's get those last 18. I do. I, Roby loves rub. I do. Yeah, I, I hope it posts. We should do that vote. We can go and do that. We can actually start that. We'll start that after we finish Hype Train when I'm running through deals and stuff like that. We're so close. You can remember, Cosmic Jordan dropping three more gifted subs. Taking it in there. Guys, we are at 8, 1484. 16 subs. And then we'll hit 1500. And then we have less than 1,000 left to actually do that last giveaway. That piece that's, we're going to give away a PC. So and a really nice PC, actually. Bittersweet, 500 bits. Almost to level five, guys. Two minutes and 26 seconds. We can do it. Tons of people here. Slit Sim, 552.17. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the bits. Two minutes, guys. I'd like to see if we get that last giveaway. Do a do a three uh, three twenty-five dollar new a gift cards would be huge today. And then doing the unlocking that last one. One minute. If we just do 16, we'll just get right into deals, guys. Somebody just wants to drop 15, we'll just get right into deals and get this turned on and go from there. Silent Death, one gifted sub, taking it to 15. He's made it 15. We're so close. I'll stop at 15. I'll stop at 1500. We'll just be done. 50 would be awesome, but I don't think I'm, I'm just trying to get to 1500. That's all what it is. Yeah, no odd numbers. Thank you, Fozzie. I remember one time that no odd number thing ended up going to like a thousand subs in like a day. It was crazy. So thank you, Silent Death, for doing that one and getting it even at least. I appreciate that. You are a rock star. I don't know if people remember that. It was a crazy time. Thank you very much, you guys, for all the support and everything. Ah, oh, to town Scott. Oh no, to town Scott made it odd again. <laughs> He's like, screw that. That's right, I remember that. To town was like, nope, we're gonna, we're gonna make it even again. Man, town. He's just like, he just wants to, he just wants to, he just wants to keep, he just wants to watch the world burn. No, it's like the, it's on the, it's four minutes and 20 seconds left, but we're now 14 subs away. Steel Gray Rider dropping one. He wants to make it even again. Now we're only 14, so, or, oh, 13. Oh, that's not good. Now it's just odd. Now you guys are just really odd. No, it's still, it's still going. It's still going. Riddick, what, is that what you're asking? The hype train's still going. We're not quite at level five. We have to finish level five. So we're at the level, we're at level, level five is at the end. Sim5217 dropping his gifted sub. We're almost there, guys. We're now 12 subs away. And it's almost there. No, no, Riddick, this is a new hype train, second hype train. We used, we used to do two hype trains. Duom Slayer dropping five gifted subs, taking it down to, we have seven left to hit 1,500. Thank you, Duom Slayer. And we are at the very end, seven subs away from that 1,500 mark. That's a huge goal, guys. No, this is a second hype train. Duom's like, we're gonna make it. We are gonna make it. Yeah, we are gonna make it. Yes, we're gonna make it for the goal. Red Pyramid Head, two. Taking it to 45, Cosmic Jordan, seven. And there it is, guys, 1,500. Not quite, 1,502, but we're done. And we hit level five. There it is, completely not done. Nailed, we're there. You guys are rock stars. Okay, let's just get to our deals. Thank you very much for doing that, guys. Appreciate it. And we got another giveaway we'll do at the unlock. That would not be the game capture. Okay, here we are. So uh, you get finished with a PC like this, you're like, Roby, I wanna, I wanna, 
I get done, I, I might want to go ahead and pick up a copy of, uh, you know, Microsoft Windows because you know I've got you got I got a uh, I got a uh, 13900K in here. I want to get Windows. How much does Windows cost? Well, here's Windows 11 uh, for well, here's Windows 11 Pro for one PC, and it usually costs $199.22. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick it up for $31.60. But if you hit buy now and you use the code RBCK at checkout and hit apply, what was $31.60 $31 is now $22.12. And you're saving 30 plus percent on it as well. And we've literally had Thousands of people within the Roby Tech community use VIP CDK deals for tons of purchases. Okay, let's check it out here. What about Microsoft Office or what is now 365? So here's Office 2021, regularly $188.93. But if I use the same thing, use code buy now, $76.42. But instead of $76.42, you use the same code RBCK, not RMCK. Hit apply. What was that much, $76.42, is now $53.49. So, some substantial savings on product keys. They also sell things like they do have keyboards, mice, uh, but the deals work on uh, Office and the bigger, bigger discounts are on uh, those codes, etc. But you should check it out, vip-cdkdeals.com. They have great customer service. We verified that the uh, codes are legit. Um, and, you know, if you have questions, there are tons of people here uh, within uh, our community who have used... Uh, them for tons of deals and options. Okay, last thing I want to talk to you about is obviously robytech.com. Uh, this is run by our guy, Tom, uh, who uh, manages this whole website. And this is where you can do stuff like buy our build mats and buy our merch. Uh, also, if you like a particular build and you want to find all the parts, you're like, oh, I want to build this exact same PC. Funny enough, Roby, you guys, funny enough, it's available right here at the stream build. Here's the one from 1115, and here's all the parts with links to all those parts, uh, should you want to pick them up. Also, uh, he has fun, and so we always have deals, so let's see what kind of deals he found for today. He tries to find, uh, three times a week, he does basically deals of the day, as well as just overall deals. And if you, want to, if you want deals all the time, head on over to Twitter. And if you just follow at Roby Tech Deals, there it is right there, Roby Tech Deals. Literally thousands of people who follow, and he is following, he is, well, that and basically Tom taking pictures of himself with the thing. But again, finding deals all the time with all sorts of different codes. So again, if you're looking for deals, follow at Roby Tech Deals on Twitter. But let's see what he found today on the stream. Okay, so Master Liquid ML280 Mirror ARGB uh, Close-Up AIO, uh, $29.99 for a 280 millimeter AIO, which would fit in this case, by the way, uh, for 30 bucks, uh, would you use that $40 rebate on uh, over at Newegg. Uh, two terabyte uh, Samsung 980 Pro, uh, with uh, $179.99 over at Amazon. Wow, that is a great deal on that freaking uh, NVMe SSD. Uh, uh, LG 27 inch QHD Nano IPS 1 millisecond 165 Hertz HDR monitor with G Sync, $170 off for a 27 inch monitor uh, with 165 and G Sync for $279.99 from Best Buy. Uh, the Razer Huntsman Elite full size wired optical mechanical clicky switch keyboard with chroma backlighting, $105 off. Wow, that is, a, that is a really nice keyboard for less than 100 bucks. ABS Master Gaming PC, this is with a 1200F, a 3060 Ti, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 512 gig NVMe SSD for 949 bucks. For 50 bucks more, you could actually add a one terabyte and that would actually be a pretty good system with a 1200F and a 3060 Ti. That's actually a really good price for a great PC. And the ABS ones, I mean, for, yes, you're looking at a full thing, but for a third, for a 12400F, that thing can be cooled by like literally blowing on it. And then finally, a Thermaltake Tough Power GF1, uh, inner 50 watt, uh, 12 volt uh, power supply, 96.99 for a premium edition. Uh, looks like a gold PSU for, uh, for 650 watts, or 850 watts, sorry, for less than a hundred bucks. That's a really good deal too, wow. Okay, so my favorite deals are this two terabyte NVMe SSD and these this keyboard and this uh, this PC. Those are a heck of a deal if you're looking for a pretty awesome deal. So good job, Tom. Good job on finding the deals. Everybody say good job, Tom. And that's the end of the hype train, guys. Thank you very much for your support and what you guys continue to do and show me every freaking time. 
I, I really appreciate it. It does not go unnoticed and it's, uh, it's incredibly, uh, it's a blessing uh, for my family and my team uh, who you guys see and support people like Tom, Blondie, um, and you know, doing stuff like getting to do birthday gifts for our tax specialists and stuff like that. That is all because of the stuff and the support that you guys give us. So thank you, it means a lot. Okay, here we go. Time to turn this bad boy on, finally. You guys have waited. You guys have wondered. You guys have been curious. How does it actually look? Well, first we'll go into mood mode. Go into mood mode. Will it post? You guys got your prediction time. Will it post? Here's the question. And we are getting ready to go right here. Turn it down. It's in mood mode. Will it post is the question. We're gonna give it power. Guys, get your vote in. Get your vote in. Win some channel points. Across 1,500 subs. Today, you guys appreciate you. We're waiting for that prediction to wrap up. Almost done. People look like a lot of people are voting yes. I think we should have put, will it catch on fire? No, let's not put that. That'd be terrible. Goodbye, 48. Man, that, that, that anti-sag bracket, man, that is something. There we go. Looks good. I'm just ready for it to go on. It is empty. I've almost drank the whole thing. You guys have been so good at keeping me hydrated. I'll set up the side camera so we can get that ready. It's like way close right now. There we go. Side camera's ready. Okay, starting to grab the power here. It's that time. Prediction is ready. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Oh, no RGB. Wow, those fans have some RGB. But no RGB on the ARGB hub. Oh, did I unplug it maybe? No, plugged in. Wow, there's a lot of light from those fans. So there's fit lights, oh, okay. Oh, they, that lit up. Oh, they're all on. Okay, the lights are on. I was like, oh, where's the fans? Oh yeah, they're on. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Is that reset or is that like actually, okay. It doesn't do anything, okay. Whoa, oh, I'm hitting reset, sorry. I was hitting the reset button. You guys are seeing those flashes. It's because there are fans underneath that have lights on them. So this is like, got that vertical thing. Oh, and by the way, guys, there it is right there. It has posted. There it is right there. It has posted. There's your post. Now, let's look at this bad boy up close because this, 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 look at this. Look at this AIO. Look at that AIO. Isn't that cool? Felt like an infinity, whoa. Oh no. Oh crud. There we go, look at that AIO guys. There you go, look at that AIO, isn't that cool? No, I, I, I knocked the HDMI cable out of it. Oh, we got another dad joke. And then we'll finish, well, that'll finish it out today. Here we go. Now, another Robitech dad joke. 
phone out. And then here is the wide angle. Okay, let's get a dad joke in here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> a man walks into a pet store and asks for a dozen bees. The clerk carefully counts out 13 bees out on the counter. That's one too many, says the customer. The clerk says, it's a freebie. <laughs> it's a freebie. Oh, man. <clears throat> what do you call a typo on a headstone? A grave mistake. <laughs> and there you guys got it. Roby Tech. Now, another Roby Tech dad joke phone out. Okay, there we go right there. <laughs> Those were good ones. Okay, so that is it, guys. The entire build is done. The AIO is on correctly. Uh, the whole thing came out incredibly awesome. And now, I feel like we got some giveaways. You guys are ready for some giveaways. I think that's what you guys are, you guys are broadly waiting for. Let's get, some, uh, let's get a little bit more light on this because there's not as much RGB as there normally is in these builds, but we want to test the build with... Is it that one? Yeah, there you go. So there's a little bit more light in there for you guys so you guys can see it a little bit more. Let's go to side mode and then let's start our giveaway. We got three, uh, we got three, that's right, three um, awesome game, uh, GameStop giveaways to do. So let's get those started. So we're gonna draw three winners. Okay, here we go. It'll be exclamation point new egg now, exclamation point new egg now. Three winners starting right now. Exclamation point new egg now, guys. It's new egg. Sorry, I'm, I'm, did I say GameStop again? Dang it. And there is the build 4080 RGB and a dream, guys. 4080 RGB and a dream. Man, those fans are big. Oh, and while we're doing that, while you guys are waiting, let's do this. Here we go. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Time for the peel. Here we go. Raise it up a little bit. Here we go. Boom. There's your peel. Apparently I didn't get the one that was in the corner here. It says peel off the protective trim on both sides. I didn't get the one on the inside. Hold on. There it is. Now it is peeled. Two seconds, guys. Congratulations to T-Bone McGavin, Zito Sonic, and lastly, AZN Venom. Congratulations, you guys. You are the three winners of the GameStop, uh, sorry, the New Egg, the three, the winners of the New Egg uh, gift cards. Um, so that is it. Okay, it's been it's been a little it's been a little while. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's episode. I really appreciate you guys uh, hanging out today. Again, 4080s on shelves tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. 
Good luck if you're trying to get one. Um, and then again, huge shout out to Oris, uh, Gigabyte, and obviously Intel for sponsoring today's build, uh, showing off that Z6, the Z790 uh, Oris uh, Elite. Uh, Oris Elite AX, as well as the 13900K, and obviously uh, their 40, uh, 4080 uh, gigabyte uh, GPU that we threw in there as well in that Oris RAM. Um, and can, thank you very much for Lee and Lee for sending us the Landcool 216 for us to do this preliminary build-in uh, for you guys to check out. We'll have the review up in the next few weeks so you guys will be able to see like how thermally and everything went together. We'll test this exact combination and all that stuff too. So you guys will see how this thing did thermally uh, and all that sort of stuff. Now, I want to let you guys know, even if we wouldn't have done the uh, switch, uh, we would have still, if the thermals on this wouldn't have been doing well, we would have checked and seen at that point in time uh, that we needed to do a, uh, a washer mod to make sure that we were getting proper contact for our AIO um, to our thing. So I just want to give you guys an update on that. Huge thank you to your entire, to everybody for the uh, listening to my couple diatribes today. All of the tons of people who uh, did bits, who gifted subs. Um, and then again, huge shout out to my mods, my tech specialist, uh, my Roby Techs. I don't know, we haven't figured out a name for them yet for being here answering questions and being so supportive. And then of course, Blondie and Tom, uh, who basically uh, help us make sure that this uh, this goes off every time without any issues, what, uh, what, what forever. Uh, sorry, without it, any issues as best as we potentially can. Uh, next stream is Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We got a brand new case, so I can't tell you what, but you'll find out on Thursday what that case is. So we got a brand new case on Thursday. And then uh, Saturday, we're gonna be building a, either in a brand new case or we're going to be doing an ARC, Intel ARC build. So we got a, a really rad Intel ARC uh, 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 thing to put to, that we've got put together. So I'd love to do that uh, on stream as well. And then we've got a number of uh, commission builds uh, the week after. So going to be an absolutely epic week. Uh, really excited to uh, hang out with you. Um, and uh, yeah, and then also we've got a really cool uh, Corsair thing coming up as well. So we've got some great content coming up in the future. Anyway, guys, that is it for me tonight. Thank you for hanging out for such a long time. You guys are all incredible. Really appreciate you. We'll talk to you guys later and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys.